Put in your address and get a price for your home at 72sold.com. That's 72sold.com. It would break your heart to see what we pull out of here every day. You guys need some help? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Enjoy what? What's up, man? How's it going? Check it out, man. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here? We're just doing the right thing. What's the dream? My dream is for people to think twice before they throw something out. I appreciate you having me out. You can swing a mean net, man. <laughs> the facts lead us every day. We give you the information that matters most so that you can make the best decisions for you and your family. The stories that impact all of us and the issues that are important for us to dig into. 12 News, it's a matter of facts. It's the Holiday RV Show featuring over 600 massively discounted new and used RVs. A new Winnebago Sunstar discounted over $70,000 to $77,998 or four eleven dollars per month. The Holiday RV Show going on now at La Mesa RV. Good morning, everyone. 4.30 is your time. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Emma Jade in for Rachel McNeil this morning. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Paul Gurker. We want to get right to breaking news this morning, a tornado warning in North Scottsdale. Let's get right to Team 12 meteorologist Crystal Henderson. How's it looking right now? Well, that was allowed to expire, thank goodness, but damage done with these strong straight line winds. We have a blustery batch of thunderstorms going gangbusters on the valley right now, and those strongest winds in that tornado warning was slapped in place over North Scottsdale, pushing towards Fountain Hills. Again, the slate has been wiped clean there, but the atmosphere has that kind of spunk right now. The potential is there four tornadoes today with these thunderstorms that are just blaring through. You could see a lot of colors behind me. That is heavy rainfall and even pea sized hail possible with these storms. Strong winds out of here gusting as much as 60 miles per hour. And then plus look at all the lightning strikes that are lighting up the radar. And you also notice a bunch of carved out boxes here. That's a bunch of flash flood warnings in place. So flooding is happening right now with these storms. Also boxed out in green, a flood advisory. Wait till I zoom out and you see the full scope of this storm. Jeez. Yeah, the state is getting clocked right now. You can see the squall line right here sliding through the valley and then snow thumping, just being pasted across the higher terrain. Snow levels down to around 5,000 feet right now. We'll probably knock off an additional 1,000 feet a little bit later on this morning. And we have warnings and watches slapped on tops of warnings and watches throughout the day today because of these storms, whether we're talking winter weather, flash flooding, or wind. It is gnarly outside. The main threats today, the highest threat is for flash flooding and for those strong winds. You also noticed a lot of lightning with those thunderstorms, and we have to have our ears perked for a tornado and hail today as well. Back to you, too. All right, Crystal, thanks so much. All right, take a look at your screen. The wind was so bad overnight downtown Phoenix that it snapped this palm tree right in half. It happened kind of close to our station right here, 7th Street and Van Buren. Last check, it's still there shutting down the road, so try and avoid that area and watch out for anything that might be blowing around the streets this morning. We're going to give you a live look right now. This is from our weather tracker where we're in downtown Phoenix and we're driving up to Camelback where we're hearing of a lot of trees that have fallen down on the streets there. This is what the well rain is starting to come down. Roads are obviously going to be very wet. If you are heading into work in the next little bit, you're going to have to plan ahead because it is going to be slow. Not only do we have the horrible winds, but now the rain is coming and that is just going to make a really yeah. tough commute for drivers out there. We're going to keep you posted, take you live out on the roads all morning long. Speaking of going live, the storm that's moving in is threatening a lot of people's Black Friday and weekend travel plans. Yeah. A lot of people are going to be traveling up in the high country. They could see some fresh snow. Hey, but on, on that note, that's definitely good news for people who are spending the weekend up on the slopes. Team 12's Erica Stapleton in Flagstaff this morning where the city is getting ready for this latest winter blast. It's been a wintry, snowy, rainy mix in downtown Flagstaff. You can see the snow starting to pile up on people's cars now and, of course, getting out onto the roadways. Not very welcome sight for drivers who are going to be going out for Black Friday or maybe doing some traveling post Thanksgiving. But this white stuff was welcome for some folks up at Arizona Snowball, not far from here. For some people, it just clicks that there's no better way to spend the holiday than this. 
on the slopes at Snow Bowl. First day I've been up this season. Great skiing. Yeah. Pretty dang lucky. You know what? We do this every Thanksgiving that we can whenever there's snow on the mountain. And this snow is a little different than years past. You know, we're in the middle of a storm, so it's as good as it gets, really. Lisa Connor awesome. is from Flagstaff and knows how it can get when the snow starts falling. The ride up the mountain wasn't all that easy. Snowball staff was even stopping people to make sure they had all wheel drive or chains on their tires. And road conditions are expected to get worse. Looking a little slick. It looks like there's some ice under the snow, so got to be safe. But for those willing to brave the elements, there's a whole lot of gratitude for Mother Nature this Thanksgiving. They just hope she doesn't hit too hard so they can come back out for more. And the main priority is getting to the mountain early to get the first runs and the fresh powder, get as much powder as possible. It's advised that you do not travel overnight or into tomorrow as that's when the brunt of the storm is going to be coming through. But if you do have to get out on the roads, make sure you take it very slowly and watch out for the many slow pals that will be out trying to keep the roads clear. We're in Flagstaff. Erica Stapleton, 12 News. All right. Thanks, Erica. Whether you're staying home or traveling this holiday weekend, be sure to download our 12 News app. You can track the latest forecast no matter where you are as this storm hits. It's free in the App Store right now. And let's get you up to speed now on the stories that you need to know to start your morning. A man is dead after a crash in Mesa on Thanksgiving. It happened near Greenfield and 40th Street. Police say several people called police to report a reckless driver in the area shortly before that crash happened. It appears a truck clipped another vehicle before rolling over. The driver died. We're told no one else was hurt. Okay, so don't leave the kitchen while you're cooking. This is good advice. A fire at an assisted living home was caused by food that was left on the stove there. It happened at the Plaza del Rio in Peoria yesterday. The sprinkler system put the fire out before crews arrived on the scene, but it did cause a lot of water damage, though. Almost 40 people had to be moved as a result. Some were taken home by family members. Others were moved to other open units in the building or taken to nearby hotels. A big surprise for some U.S. troops serving overseas this Thanksgiving. Take a look. President Trump paid a surprise visit to Afghanistan where he helped serve dinner to troops at Bagram Airfield. It's the president's first trip to the site of America's longest war. The president also made the unexpected announcement that U.S. and the Taliban resumed talks, signaling a possible compromise. Take a look at this top dog. Oh, oh. my gosh, that guy. <laughs> His name is Thor. The bulldog who bulldozed his way to best in show at this year's national dog show. Literally one of my favorite things about Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, it Look is a great show, even if you don't like dogs. Canines of all breeds took to the stage yesterday. This year's show served up some fierce competition, but in the end, Thor took home that coveted top prize. Dude, I love bulldogs except for the slobber. Except for the, and the yeah, breathing Yeah, problems. exactly. Yeah, we had one growing up, uh, Otis. May he rest in peace. Oh. Now you're up to speed. <laughs> Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com, or just download the free 12 News app. Okay, a lot of folks getting ready for today, but this, this weather might actually get in the way. The holiday shopping rush is well underway this morning. Tons of Black Friday shoppers out in full force trying to scoop up those deals and check those names off the list. Literally, I know. What I've been doing I haven't. I've done hours. nothing. I'm such a procrastinator. Oh, that's okay. You're smart. <laughs> Americans are expected to spend billions of dollars just over the next few days. And as Team 12's Bianca Bono found out, the storm headed our way did not scare away shoppers one bit. Well, a lot of people don't believe in the idea of going out and shopping on Thanksgiving, so I asked these shoppers why they do. I was eating turkey, but I had to leave. I had to get here for Black Friday because it's Black Friday. You know, I know they understand. It's like this every year for me. Black Friday starting on Thursday. It seems like shopping has become a part of a lot of people's Thanksgiving Day tradition now. It is, but this is the first time I've ever done this, so it's like I didn't expect the crowds like this. Some of the really good stores actually have lines. You guys are waiting in line. Yes, yes. we are. Is it worth the wait? Yep. Well, she seems to think so. I'm excited. We had Thanksgiving at 1 o'clock, and then we watched the football game, and then we went to Walmart, and then we came straight here. <laughs> you guys did all the traditional stuff, and you incorporate shopping into your yeah. Thanksgiving day. Yeah. yeah. Some saying instead of putting them to sleep, the turkey actually energizes them, getting them ready for a full night of deals. 
I got this for twenty dollars. What's the original price on it? Um, seventy-eight. I got Ultra Boost, uh, twenty nineteen. Yeah, um, they're like fifty bucks right now. While many will opt for online, these shoppers say the crowds and chaos are part of the experience and puts them in the holiday spirit. I like it actually. You just gotta embrace it. Like, eat some turkey, have a glass of wine, have a Starbucks, and then go shopping. And the Phoenix Premium Outlets are open again on Friday starting at 6 a.m. And believe it or not, a lot of those shoppers I talked to say they plan on doing that all over again later today. We're in Chandler, Bianca Bono, 12 News. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love ready. it. Yeah, I've been getting text alerts from my brother who's been out shopping since yesterday at 5. And just going and, and I know you're into it this morning. You're like... This store does not have a Black Friday deal. What is wrong with them? There is something wrong with stores <laughs> who don't do Black Friday deals, right? Only I think on Twelve so. News, though. Save or splurge. There are plenty of great Black Friday deals out there. Not all are created equal, though. That's for sure. So, is it worth buying a lesser-known brand, or should you spend more on that popular brand? Team 12's Nicole Zymek has some helpful advice from the experts. get stuff for cheap. We have three more places to go. It's easy to get excited, but with thousands of deals coming your way, how do you even know where to start? We're breaking it down into three main categories, TVs, cell phones, and computers. Let's start with TVs. This is a great deal for a TV this size. Consumer Reports tech editor Thomas Germain checked out the deals. To save, Germain says there's the Samsung 55 inch RU7100 4K Smart TV at $450 at Best Buy. We've tested this set and it's got top notch HD picture quality. To splurge, there's the 55 inch LG 4K C9 Series OLED Smart TV. It originally cost $1,300, but you'll find it on Amazon for $1,138. That's a savings of $209. This is one of the best TVs we've tested this year. You get excellent HD and UHD picture quality. Overall, the verdict for TVs? You should splurge. Splurge if you can. You know, a TV isn't something you buy very often, so you want something that's going to keep you satisfied and perform well for the long haul. Now let's go over to laptops. To save, Thomas says the HP Pavilion 15T model is one of the best deals at just $500 at HP.com. That's an $800 savings. Making this one of the most deeply discounted laptops we've seen so far this holiday season. To splurge, the 13-inch Apple MacBook Air, which is $900 at Best Buy, a savings of $200. It's also got about 10 hours of battery life, uh, according to our tests. And uh, our members say that Apple makes the most reliable laptops of any brand. So you think the verdict here is to splurge. Don't splurge. You know, everybody loves Apple and they make outstanding laptops, but you can get satisfactory performance for a lot cheaper. And finally, who needs a new phone? Thomas is comparing two Apple products, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 8. Right now, you can get the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, or 11 Pro Max from Walmart and get a $300 e-gift card. And it's our top choice right now. Camera is just incredible, takes spectacular photos. Or you can save a few hundred dollars and finance the iPhone 8 for $10 per month at Best Buy. So what's the verdict? Well, you can't deny that the latest iPhones especially the 11 Pro Max, are amazing devices. But, of course, they're not cheap, and we don't think that people are going to be disappointed with an older iPhone, uh, especially the iPhone 8. And especially if they're 7. Yeah. 7-year-olds are asking for iPhones. I'm telling my 7-year-old, he is a wizard on my iPhone. It's incredible. They're better than we are Yes, at they are. Oh, all right, Nicole, thank you. Don't forget about apps. There are lots of appetizers. No, <laughs> there are loads of them that give you extra coupons and help you price compare. You honestly, like if you really want a good deal, you do have to do your homework. Oh, no question. Yeah. I mean, and, and those good shoppers are the ones that are constantly on the internet looking around, so that's not me. All right, well, speaking of apps, right now on the 12 News app, you can find a list of Consumer Report recommendations. Download it uh, in your app store. Perfect to track these storms as well. Yeah. Still ahead on today in AZ. Have you ever gotten a text from a wrong number? Well, did it turn into a <laughs> yeah. four year Thanksgiving tradition? Probably not, but that's how an unlikely friendship formed right here in the Valley. We're checking in on them. Plus, we are tracking some serious weather this morning. A tornado warning has been issued, it expired, but nonetheless, just crazy morning in terms of the weather. 
wind, rain, they are not done yet. Crystal will have the latest coming up. You're watching Today in AZ. While you're enjoying your holiday, we're on a weather alert with a winter storm pounding Arizona. Stick with 12 News for continuing coverage and get hyperlocal forecasts with the 12 News app. Connect with us today. Arizona is at the center of a national conversation. So we ask the questions that you would ask. Join us weeknights for 12 News at 5, 6, and 10. And NBC Nightly News at 5.30. It's a matter of facts. <laughs> Are you sleeping in plastic bags and a lip mask? My skin is so dry and cracked, I need serious relief. That's why I use O'Keeffe's night treatment. Get visible results in one night and guaranteed relief. Available in O'Keeffe's working hands, healthy feet, and lip repair. People that work at Synchrony care about each other. I feel like a family. We try to support each other. People I work with are very friendly, um, a family. We're hiring call center representatives in Phoenix, starting at $15 an hour, with generous benefits. The, the health care is fantastic here. Tuition reimbursement, 401k, the vacation time. Change what's possible. Apply at SYFCareers.com or text SYF9 to 90206. JC Penney, it's Black Friday forever. Well, maybe not forever. Saturday is the last day, so shop early to save on puffers, kitchen electrics, Sephora, and bath towels for $2.99. Your last chance for Black Friday deals. JC Penney. Get to the Living Spaces Black Friday Doorbuster event today to shop over 100 doorbusters for the entire home with sofas starting at just $1.95. And find amazing deals on queen beds starting at $95. Dining set starting at just $1.95. A huge selection of home decor and more. Plus, pay no interest until 2023 on select purchases with your good credit. So hurry into Living Spaces today to shop all doorbuster deals before they're gone. Living Spaces. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Billy? Cindy? What are you doing? I needed some extra cash to get my car's transmission replaced. Go to Amco. And with over 50 years of experience, they're the most trusted name in the business. And it comes with a three-year, 50,000-mile nationwide warranty. Amco. That is hot. Check engine light on. We'll check it for free. Amco. Double A. MCO. Transmissions and a whole lot more. Can't wait for date night. Let's go. We got to start keeping it clean after date night. Only if we're talking about a car wash. Superstar. The weather report on Today in AZ is sponsored by Superstar Car Wash. We do unlimited right. Text NBC to 27800 to get a free wash. Welcome back. We continue to track some breaking weather news. This is our weather tracker right now in downtown Phoenix, but a tornado warning just issued in Gilbert. I can't believe what's happening this morning, Crystal. We have high winds and now another tornado. So what does that mean? Uh, that our atmosphere is fierce this morning. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of oomph with our atmosphere and a lot of potential for a lot of damage too. Right now we're sounding the alarms for a brand new tornado warning that carves out Apache Junction Gilbert. I'm also talking to you Queen Creek. This is going to stay in place until 515 and that's inside of a larger box, which is a brand new severe thunderstorm warning because of damaging straight line winds. So tornado aside, these storms are putting out some fierce winds up to 60 miles an hour and even some pea sized hail in some of the stronger parts of this storm. You could see the heavy rain in the dark reds. That's likely the core where you would also see the hail and lightning. Of course, another threat on top of all these other risks. So heads up if you are waking up with us in this area in the East Valley, Gilbert to Apache Junction and Queen Creek. Have your ears perked, be on alert, go to the lowest level of your home just to be safe. The most interior part of your home too. get a, as far away from the windows as possible. Put as many walls between you and the windows as you can right now until 515. And of course, we're going to continue to keep you posted on this as the storm continues to just slam the area. Let's take a look at the bigger picture for the valley. 
Everybody is smothered and covered in this heavy rain right now with the lightning and the risk for flash flooding. That's another major concern for us and those strong damaging winds. This is going to continue to be a threat throughout the morning, whether you were planning on heading to work or going out Black Friday shopping. It's just a better idea to stay home if you can and wait this out. This is going to continue to threaten us throughout the AM hours. Look at the scope of the storm system as I zoom out through the entire state. It's just throwing a haymaker at us. Phoenix is the bullseye for the severe stuff right now. Look at all of that lightning, the heavy rain and that hail potential. But meantime, winter weather is wreaking havoc in the high country, tripping up travel on the 40. The Highway 87 is closed between Payson and the higher elevation neighborhoods. We're continuing to see that snow thumping down, adding up very quickly. We could easily see two feet of snow around places uh, near Flagstaff. But how much rainfall could we get from the super soaker this morning. You're looking at several different models. Three quarters of an inch to over an inch is not out of the question. We are already ringing out those clouds like a sponge right now. Let's show you hour by hour how we think this is all going to shake out. Through 9 o'clock, this could be very action-packed radar that I show you, especially through the 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 7 a.m. hours. That's when we are expecting these storms to make their presence known. Then you might even see some peaks of sun after lunchtime as we see the worst of it over. So right now, this is a very front-loaded uh, uh, forecast. We're all the main actions happening right now, the severe weather. And as we take a look at the bigger picture here, We've got warnings and watches slapped on top of warnings and watches. The bottom line is the risk for severe weather is right now for the strong winds, for possibly a tornado, hail, heavy rain, and flooding. And then what follows suit is very cold temperatures. In fact, some valley neighborhoods will be waking up to the 30s tomorrow morning and Sunday morning. Goodness, Crystal. Wow. All right, we're going to keep you posted, everyone, because this is major. Still ahead on today in AZ, an unlikely friendship formed here in the Valley, all thanks to a text sent to the wrong person. It's a tradition we've been tracking for a few years now, and there's a bit of a twist. And as you just heard Crystal mention, we are dealing with some serious weather this morning. Uh, this is a live look from our weather tracker right now as they head northbound. Uh, they head towards Camelback, but again, we've got flash flood warnings across the region. Buckeye has a flash flood warning. Uh, the tornado warning that was issued for Gilbert, we've already had one in Scottsdale. Stick around, Crystal's got much more ahead. Twelve News Traffic to Go is driven by Learner and Row. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. When you're hurt in a wreck, why would you even think about calling the insurance company first? Call somebody who's going to work for you, not against you. The insurance companies are not on your side. We are. We are Learner and Row. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. Shopping for my pets used to be so stressful. But with Chewy.com, I can get those big bags of pet food and litter delivered. It makes the holidays that much easier. Get the gift of fast, free shipping on your pet food and supplies today at Chewy, where pet lovers shop. He could have just been the middle-class kid who made good, but Mike Bloomberg became the guy who did good. After building a business that created thousands of jobs, he took charge of a city still reeling from 9-11. A three-term mayor who helped bring it back from the ashes, bringing jobs and thousands of affordable housing units with it. After witnessing the terrible toll of gun violence, he helped create a movement to protect families across America and stood up to the coal lobby in this administration to protect this planet from climate change. And now he's taking on him to rebuild the country and restore faith in the dream that defines us, where the wealthy will pay more in taxes and the middle class get their fair share. Everyone without health insurance can get it, and everyone who likes theirs keep it. And where jobs won't just help you get by, but get ahead. And on all those things, Mike Bloomberg intends to make good. Jobs creator, leader, problem solver. Mike Bloomberg for president. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. I have two girls. We've been just trying to build our dream home. We had this really awkward bonus space. I just didn't know what to do with it. California Closets came in and they created something out of nothing. My girls hang out there a lot while I'm doing my laundry. They're there playing. I love that I have a space now that I can create lasting memories as a family. I'm Jeannie and this is my life with California Closets. Visit a showroom or schedule your free consultation today. 
Get to the Living Spaces Black Friday Doorbuster event today to shop over 100 doorbusters for the entire home with sofas starting at just $195. And find amazing deals on queen beds starting at $95. Dining sets starting at just $195. A huge selection of home decor and more. Plus, pay no interest until 2023 on select purchases with your good credit. So hurry into Living Spaces today to shop all doorbuster deals before they're gone. Living Spaces. It's the Today in AZ crew here. You've got a place right here with us. Wake up, have a cup of coffee. Interact with us and get your day off to a great start. Or catch the speed feed as you're rushing out the door in the morning. Join us for Today in AZ weekdays when you get up. When a car wreck throws your whole life out of whack, get the legal help you need when you need it the most. And that time is right now. We're your 24-7 injury attorneys. Murder and rope is the way to go. Call 977-1900. Now handling roundup cases. All right, take a look at this. This is a live look at Flagstaff right now where you see the snow is hitting. You know, in some of those areas, they're going to get a foot, a couple feet of snow. I mean, if you're a snowboarder, if you're a skier, that's great. If you're someone like me that doesn't like the snow that much, <laughs> make sure you've got the chains on your tires. Yes. Make sure that you are prepared as you go out the door because, you know, driving a snow is no fun, but uh, we're going to keep you covered. You know, the, a great thing that we've got is a 12 News app. We've got, uh, it's all brand new. You can track the storms literally to your doorstep. And right. Crystal Henderson here all morning just tracking all the weather that is crazy across the state Look at between. How brutal that looks too. And mm. this is closer to downtown here. And you can see if you look over at the street lights, everyone, the rain that is just barreling down and it's not going to stop anytime soon. When you look at the radar and the just power that this storm has, it's gonna be a long morning. Yeah, it certainly is. I and mean, we had a a tornado warning in Scottsdale around 4 o'clock that expired, but right now in Gilbert and Apache Junction, they just issued some. So now, it's where a, are we, in the it, Midwest? Yeah, the that's what it feels like. I spent seven years in the Midwest. I was just saying that, but it's a dangerous situation out there. But again, Crystal's got you covered all morning, so keep it locked right here to 12 News. And for anyone traveling, my goodness, we're going to keep you posted, but it is going to be a tough day. Oh, no question. Maybe take an extra day. Yes. Just relax. You know what? This is such a great story. It was a mistake that went viral four years ago. A Valley grandmother sent an accidental text to just a complete stranger thinking it was her grandson. Yeah, I love this story. It is awesome. So when he texted back, she invited him for Thanksgiving dinner anyway, <laughs> as Team 12's Nicole Zymick shows us. That text started not only an annual tradition, but a heartwarming friendship. Wanda and Jamal have spent every Thanksgiving together since that text went out four years ago. And this year, their annual dinner had a twist. Peek inside this Mesa home, Bam. and you'll see a family like any other <laughs> laughing, doing a little basting, fussing over the turkey, I want them. enjoying Thanksgiving. Hi, Madison. And you'd be right, because after four years, Jamal Hinton and Wanda Dench are just that. I just had an instant uh, like to him. Oh, gosh, he's part of the family instantly. And to think, it all started as an accident back in 2016. I had uh, sent a text to two of my grandsons. But instead, she got a text saying, who is this? Grandma, she answered. Grandma, can I get a picture? And I couldn't figure out why my grandson would want my picture. We all just thought it was pretty funny. Needless to say, well, she's not Jamal's grandma, but she invited him anyway. I said, sure, that's what grandmas do. We feed everyone. And I knew it was a joking around, um, but my, my offer was sincere. And the offer is renewed every year. Uh, I did think it would stick like us being friends and stuff, but I didn't think that it just had to be that day. I felt like we could just hang out and see each other on different days, too. And they have. Since then, they've gone to the pumpkin patch and had several double dates. I think one of my favorite times, we went to Rudy's and we were there like four hours, nonstop talking. And the family keeps growing. This year, Jamal's girlfriend, Michaela invited Wanda and her husband to her family's dinner. They've, they've been pretty, uh, it seems like they've been having a lot of fun with the family. You can bet if the invite comes next year, the answer will be the same. Before she even finished her sentence, I'm like, yes, I'm there. I'm all there. And in case you're wondering how Jamal got that text in the first place, it turns out Wanda's biological grandson had gotten a new phone number and not bothered to tell Wanda. So when she sent out the text, it went to Jamal, and the rest is history. In the Alert Center, Nicole Zymek, 12 News.
I feel like that that's perfectly sums up like the spirit of Thanksgiving, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, it does. It, that's that's movie-esque. Yeah, it really <laughs> yeah. is. Someday. I'd put it on Lifetime right now. Yeah, I know. I'd All watch right. it. <laughs> Outside, it's movie-esque. Like, you wouldn't believe what's happening. Still ahead on Today in AZ, bring on the rain and the snow and a slew of tornado warnings. Yeah, it's apocalyptic out there right now. Major storm hitting this morning. Crystal tracking the forecast for us. Stay with us. She'll have much more. For Black Friday savings on over a thousand vehicles, hurry to Henry Brown Buick GMC in Gilbert. Save up to 20% off MSRP or get 0% for 72 months plus $1,500 bonus cash on new Buicks. It's always Henry Brown. Is that too heavy? Try it. I got it. <laughs> wow, this looks amazing. Can I help you make a few? Sure. You sure? Huh? Hi, I'm Derek. Is nice to meet you. What's the ultimate dream for your business? We have this hunger project okay. that I give back to the kids to buy wow. food. How long have you had this dream? Ten years. So you're six years old and you had the dream for ten years. That's pretty good. That's someone that knows what they want to do in life. <laughs> for Grumps, the holidays can feel like the dumps. Doesn't all this good cheer? He asked. Just hurt your ears. But from time to time, <laughs> something changes their mind. I feel sad. She said. And you can feel cheer instead. You might be right. So he got the card in a tree, and his cheer grew by three. <laughs> Get your Mountain America Rewards card today for three times the cheer this holiday. Black Friday is here at American Furniture Warehouse. Save big with Black Friday deals on Samsung. Get comfy with the Riker Power Reclining Sofa for $9.98. And get immersed in sound with a new sound bar that will make the $9.97 price of this 75-inch 4K TV that much better. With those kind of savings, you can sneak in the Calyx recliner for a little personal relaxation. Visit AFW.com to check out the holiday lookbook only at American Furniture Warehouse. Even though we just started dating, I find you so captivating, and I'm done with hesitating. Let's see where this goes. Save on a gift that says it all. Sharon. You're watching Today in AZ. It's a matter of facts. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Today in AZ, there is a major storm moving through Arizona. It is pouring rain in the valley, making for extremely da dangerous driving conditions on our roads. Yeah, and it's not just the rain, folks. It's the wind, too. They are fast. They toppled this palm tree overnight in downtown Phoenix. This major storm is not just hitting us down here in the valley, up in the high country. It's even worse. You will not believe the snow that's falling right now. Thanks for waking up with us, everyone. Well, happy day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. We're getting right into some weather alerts. I'm Emma Jade in for Rachel McNeil. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Paul Gerke this morning. We have team coverage of all this winter weather. Matt Uris is in the 12 News Tracker. He's headed to Scottsdale right now where there was actually a tornado warning. It has expired at this point, but, you know, nonetheless, the weather has been crazy. Erica Stapleton is up in Flagstaff where they are bracing for lots of snow. We've got to start, though, with meteorologist Crystal Henderson because these winds are so high and so dangerous. Crystal, there was another tornado warning in Apache Junction. That expired? Just minutes ago. Just a couple of minutes ago. But that just goes to show you the spunk that these storms have. Our entire valley is caught in the crosshairs of the wild whipping winds, the heavy downpours, the lightning, and there's a severe thunderstorm right now that has boxed out Apache Junction and a little portion of Queen Creek here because of this heavy rain that's headed your way. Straight line winds up to 60 miles an hour. We might even see some hail flung out of these clouds in the moments ahead. Let's Let's take a look at the valley as a whole and it's kind of hard to depict maybe where your neighborhood is because we are smothered and covered in heavy rainfall and in some cases that hail. You've likely probably been woken up before your alarm clock because of the claps of thunder as well as those strong howling winds approaching 60 miles an hour in many cases and damage done behind this heavy rain. You could see a lot of 
carved out areas in red. That's flash flooding, so likely running into flooding this morning. Phoenix, really the bullseye of the severe stuff right now, but heavy snowfall in the high country. In fact, there was a report just moments ago at Phantom Ranch, which is, which is at the bottom of the Grand Canyon at 2,500 feet, you guys. What a morning. <laughs> it's just been believe it. Yeah, and then on top of that, I mean, <laughs> we normally be telling you to avoid crashes, but that's really not what you have to worry about this morning. It's the weather that is going to throw you off and make you want to stay home and not back out of the driveway. There's a number of crashes. There was a report of one on I-10 in Bullard, a multi-vehicle wreck likely caused by the weather. So if you can delay travel, I don't think any deal is worth heading out in this stuff right now. Is there a time, Crystal, that it will be better to hit the roads? What yeah. time do you think? We start to see things tapering off around 9 o'clock in the morning, okay. later on in the morning hours, but the next couple of hours right now is fair game oh, for yeah. some of the stronger yeah, stuff. Yeah, if you do have to go in, yeah. I would just call in late, you know? Yeah. Give us till about 10 o'clock. All right, thanks, yeah. Crystal. All around us in the valley, mm -hmm. the rain is going to be a huge safety issue out on those roads, like we were saying. For anyone who plans on going Black Friday shopping especially, people like that are always in a hurry. Exactly, and you know the issue we get here is the, all the pooling on the, yeah. on the roadways. Let's check in with Matt Yuris, who's out in the 12 News Weather Tracker with a check on the road conditions. Matt, where are you and how's it looking? Uh, not so hot, Mike. We're out in Scottsdale now. We just went past a Fashion Square along Camelback. We took off from our downtown studios about a half hour or so ago, heading north on 7th Street. And we've just had a steady downpour. Let's take a look at that right now. This is a really interesting tool we have here on. Uh, track or you can get a look at the roof cam. It gives us a 360 shot. We saw our first damage from that severe storms that uh, Crystal's been reporting on all morning around 64th Street and Camelback. Several uh, branches down. Um, I'd say about a half inch thick. Some of them a little bit larger just to give you an idea of the type of wind that moved through. And of course we've seen puddling throughout downtown Phoenix and well into Scottsdale. Right now we're at uh, Hayden and Camelback. So as, you, as uh, Crystal mentioned earlier, no let up on this anytime soon. Going to go to at least 9 a.m. If you can, after this holiday, stay home until at least then before you do your shopping. We've had a couple of different spots where the water has rushed up over the hood. When you get to some deeper puddling, that is tough to see, especially during these early morning hours. Again, we're going to stay on top of this. There's been some multiple reports of damage. We're going to look for that now. In the meantime, I'm going to throw it back to you guys in the studio, and we'll talk again in just a minute. Mike and Emma. Matt, that's such a good point because when it is dark out there, you really can't tell how deep some of those puddles are, and that can cause a lot of trouble for drivers out there. Okay, thanks, Matt. Did anyone else wake up to power outages in the middle of the night? My I know you did, son, right? Yes, walks yeah. into our room, says the power's out. It happened all night long for us over in uh, North Mesa. Thousands of SRP customers right now do not have power. Take a look at all of those little lightning bolts. Each one is an outage in a neighborhood. We're going to head over to APS's map right now. There's a big outage in Prescott. It's affecting about 1,200 people, but the power should be back on within the next 30 minutes or so. We're going to keep checking these outage maps all morning long to keep you posted. All right, in the meantime, we want to continue our 12 News team coverage. Eric St Erica Stapleton is up in Flagstaff this morning. I can't believe how big those flakes are, Erica. Yeah. How's it feeling out there? Honestly, it's not that cold yet. I mean, we're bundled up, but we've been outside for probably about five minutes, and you can see it's already starting to stack up on my hat, on everything. You know, I had it, my hair nicely done, but that's to the wind now. But this snow is really sticking to the ground, look, and it's the packy kind, too. So great for all the skiers and snowboarders that maybe want to go up to Snow Bowl later today, but not so great for people out on the roads. As I said, it's sticking everywhere. You can take a look at the roadways now. We've actually seen a few plows come by here through downtown Flagstaff so far, but it's not really clearing the roadways just yet. You can see some tracks in the road and here the sidewalk. You can't even tell that it's a sidewalk. Honestly, no footprints in it untouched. We might have to walk on that earlier today and it's also sticking to the street signs. Take a look. We can't even tell which road we're on. We're on Humphreys, by the way, but you can't see it. So the snow is just sticking everywhere and it's going to keep on coming down. I would say we have a couple of inches so far, but we're expecting to get a whole lot more. As you said, the brunt of it's going to be coming through the rest of this morning and 
not necessarily safe to be driving on. As you can see, we have a couple cars, bigger trucks going by now. If you do have to get out on the roads, make sure you take it slowly. Try and brake a little early. Give some space between you and some other trucks. And make sure if you see some plows, make sure that you are giving them plenty of space so they can do their job and get the roadways clear as soon as possible. The city of Flagstaff does have 19 plows that they're sending out right now. They're currently active and they have graders too that come and put cinders on the road that help hopefully with some of that traction as people get out on the roadways. But again, the best advice is to just stay inside. You don't necessarily want to be out and look like me if you're going Black <laughs> Friday shopping. Hopefully you have some plans to maybe go later in the day, but if you do have to get out here, make sure you're just bundled up and take it very slowly on the roads. You know, you never know with snow like this how bad things could get. You know but what? we'll be out here tracking it. I'll send it back to you guys for now. We need an attitude like Erica. Yeah. Picking up that snow, finding the positive in all of exactly. this. Exactly. She, she is a good snowman building weather, Erica, out there, you think? or? Oh, snowman, definitely, for sure, a good snowman. We might have to build one. You'll, we'll, we're going to start like one, that. and you'll just check my progress throughout the morning. But All right, that sounds definitely like a great plan. for snowmen. Good for, it'll be great for skiing All right, <laughs> if people can Eric. get up the, on the roads, you know. All right, well, stay warm. Erica Stapleton for us live up in Flagstaff. Thanks so much. Okay, take a look at your screen, folks, if, if you want to just sort of gasp a little bit. Uh, yeah, this storm really. also causing problems all the way out in California. This is a live look for you right now at what's called Flight Aware. They call it the, the misery, misery map. map. Yeah, isn't that funny? That. Well, dozens of flights are grounded at LAX, and San Francisco is experiencing heavy delays as well. And you know what that means, the old trickle-down effect. So there's a lot of delays at O'Hara in Chicago, as well as in New York City, back here in Phoenix. We didn't get the worst of the storm until overnight, so only a few flights have been delayed so far, but I'm, I'm sure that'll uh, change a little bit because we've doubt. had the tornado warnings across the region. Yeah. So if you are headed out of the house today, make sure that you wear your rain boots and download the 12 News app. We'll send severe weather alerts for this major storm. The 12 News app is free in your app store. We have some breaking news from overnight to get to. There was a deadly shooting at 19th Avenue and Van Buren. This was at the K Motel where an officers got there. They found a man laying on the floor of a room with at least one gunshot wound. Haven't released any other information about the victim or any suspects you can bet will keep you posted. Let's get you up to speed now on the other stories that you need to know to get your morning started. A man is dead after a crash in Mesa on Thanksgiving Day. It happened near the intersection of Greenfield and 40th Street. Police say several people called police to report of a reckless driver in the area shortly before the crash happened. It appears a truck clipped another vehicle before rolling over. The man accused of reckless driving was the one killed in the crash. New video out of California. Take a look at this where a collapsed drain is causing major traffic delays on the I-10. This is in Redlands, which you drive through if you're driving between L.A. and the Valley. Traffic had to be diverted around the mudslide. Some flooding also caused lane closures. I can only imagine what it's like now. Wow. No word yet on how long it's going to take to repair the freeway. America's longest war could be getting closer to an end, maybe. President Donald Trump says talks between the U.S. and Taliban will be resuming. This comes after President Trump paid a surprise visit to troops in Afghanistan served them Thanksgiving dinner, spent more than two and a half hours on the ground serving turkey and sitting down with the Afghan president. And now you are up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com, or just download that free 12 News app. All right, shifting gears. How's your holiday shopping going, folks? Weigh in on 12news.com slash bullhorn. We're asking this because Black Friday has changed a lot over the years, especially with online shopping, that's for sure. We've got online shopping everywhere in stores starting sales earlier and earlier and earlier. My wife was out at Target. I'm like, what are you doing? You're going to Target? It's, it's actually open today? Yep. Well, some people already done with their Christmas shopping, which I can't believe. I'm one of them. I know. Uh -oh. Crazy. Not in December yet, everyone, but weigh in right now, 12news.com slash bullhorn. A lot of people will be shopping both online and at stores today. Vanessa got the assignment of the morning. She's completely dry, doesn't have to deal with any of the storm coverage. You're live out at Cabela's. Vanessa, do you think it's a little lighter this year, maybe because of the storm? I'm not too sure, Emma, because people were waiting for hours, even as early as 9.30 last night. When I showed up, there was uh, hundreds of people waiting in line. They had their rain gear on. They had the umbrellas because they were out here to get these great deals. So I don't think the rain stopped them too much. However, I am here with one of the shoppers, Don, and the rain did stop him from doing something. Now, Don, what brought you here to Cabela's? Well, we were going to head up into the mountains, do a little elk spotting, 
But they, a buddy of mine called me and said, don't bother. You can't get up the mountains. It's shut down. So the rain stopped him from going out to the mountains. So now you're here at Cabela's. What are you going to buy? Oh, man, I was looking at this. Yeah, they got all kinds of stuff. They got, of course, warm weather or warm clothing right now looks very appealing. <laughs> Plus, they've got some nice gun cases if you want to. You know, take a gun on the air in the airport now. You gotta have the special case. I noticed one for 20 bucks, and I just I think I paid 60 for one exactly like it. It's a couple of weeks ago, so okay. I'll have another one of those. Well, I'm sorry that the rain stopped you from heading out to the mountains, but now you get some great deals, so I'll go ahead and let you do your shopping, Don. <laughs> like I said, Emma, people have been waiting here for hours. They opened the doors a few minutes early before 5 a.m., and they rushed in here to get the great deals. Now, the great deals are only going on for six hours, but they'll be open till 9 p.m. tonight. But if you want those great deals on the fish finders, the clothes, oh. the guns, and the weapons like he was talking about, you can do it for another six hours. So get on out here. It is warm. It is dry. And um, they have a lot of nice people greeting you. They even have an elf. Yeah, buddy, the Check elf this is out. behind you. Oh, my gosh. Maybe. I hear he knows Santa. <laughs> yeah, see? So come out here. Get those deals. <laughs> Will Farrell in Arizona. My goodness. All right. Thanks, Vanessa. 514 is your time. All right, Crystal. Uh, what's the one thing, I guess? Because I know there's a million things. Yeah. But what do you got, girl? Well, the latest here is Apache Junction is getting rocked with a severe thunderstorm warning. And just minutes ago, a flash flood warning is now in effect for Apache Junction and Gold Canyon, as well as Roosevelt because of the heavy downpour. We are going to keep you abreast of any major flooding on roadways, but the typical traffic segments just want to give you a heads up. We won't be doing it unless there is something major we need to alert you about. Back to you. All right, Crystal, thanks so much. We appreciate that. Ahead on today in AZ, we are going to continue our coverage of this major storm bringing rain across the valley, lots of snow to the high country as well. And conditions can change extremely quickly, everyone. This is a volatile storm, but you bet we got Crystal Henderson. So this storm has nothing on her. Nope. Make sure, though, to download our 12 News app to get severe weather alerts. We'll be right back. I'm David Johnson from the Arizona Cardinals, and I was bullied. It made for some challenging times when I was a kid, and I want to make sure and let everyone know that it's a big epidemic that's going on around schools today. Fact is, 70% of young people say they've seen bullying in their schools. When you see it in your school, online, or anywhere, tell an adult, let's stop bullying right now. If you need help or know someone who needs help, visit 12news.com slash fact is. People that work at Synchrony care about each other. I feel like a family. We try to support each other. People I work with are very friendly, um, a family. We're hiring call center representatives in Phoenix, starting at $15 an hour, with generous benefits. The, the health care is fantastic here. Tuition reimbursement, 401k, the vacation time. Change what's possible. Apply at SYFCareers.com or text SYF9 to 90206. Cobblestone Auto Spa, leader in quality, service, and value. With 27-plus locations and counting, now is the time to go unlimited. Wheel cleaning, interior vacuum, air freshener, hand towel dry, and so much more. With eight different options, there's an unlimited plan for everyone. Save time, save money. Arizona weather can be tough on your car. Take care of it with us. Cobblestone Auto Spa, go unlimited. Cowtown Boot Company, Arizona's largest western wear store, offers these exotic skin boots. Alligators starting at $3.99. Ostrich from $2.49 to $3.49. Lizard or snake skin, $1.79. Rattlesnake, $1.99 to $2.99. Great gifts come in many sizes, up to size 15. With two locations to serve you, in Tempe at Scottsdale Road and Curry, and in Phoenix at the corner of I-17 and Thunderbird. We're opening at 9 a.m. for our Black Friday special, Cowtown Boots. Rodeo everywhere. Martha McSally keeps promising she'll protect health coverage for pre-existing conditions. But October 30th, McSally voted again to let insurance companies deny coverage for pre-existing conditions by voting no on banning junk insurance plans. Ms. McSally, no. Senator Martha McSally voted no today. AARP opposed the so-called junk plans because they charge older Americans higher premiums. Plans also don't include coverage for pre-existing conditions. Once again, Martha McSally is simply lying. Tell her to stop attacking our health care. 
Our Ford Black Friday event is on at Earnhardt Ford in Chandler. Shop now and get $9,780 in Ford cash back on a 2019 Ford Expedition or get 0% financing for 72 months plus over seven grand in factory incentives and even save $12,000 off MSRP on 2019 F-150 XLTs. Visit online at EarnhardtFord.com or stop in at the I-10 and Ray Road. Stop in and see us at Earnhardt Ford and that ain't no bull. Can't wait for date night. Let's go. We got to start keeping it clean after date night. Only if we're talking about a car wash. The weather report on Today in AZ is sponsored by Superstar Car Wash. We do unlimited right. Text NBC to 27800 to get a free wash. Welcome back, everyone. Whew, you've been outside yet this morning? Yeah, this is Don't. Stay in if you can. Take a look at some of this. You're going to just get soaked if you go outside. There are some pictures on our 12 News Weather Watchers. We love when you guys send us your pictures because we can't be in every neighborhood. No, so help us tell the weather story. Keep those pictures and videos coming. You can tag us on Facebook, whatever it is. Just use that hashtag be on 12. Yeah, we're getting uh, snow 2,500 feet at the Grand Canyon. We yeah. saw Erica Stapleton up there. And here in Maricopa County and really across the state, we're getting pounded by all sorts of weather, yes. Crystal. A slammer this morning. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe you had your alarm set for a certain time, but forget that. Mother Nature had a different wake up call for you this morning with claps of thunder. No, it was not your upstairs neighbor. It was the stinging rain thumping on your rooftop and blasts of wind up to 60 miles an hour with some severe thunderstorms that slid on through. And these storms are hauling at 50 miles an hour, also dropping out some pea sized hail. Lots of lightning and so much rain. The entire valley radar is smothered and covered in storms. But right now, the most severe over Apache Junction. They're caught in the crosshairs of some 60 mile per hour gusts with that severe storm. Lots of heavy rain and now in the aftermath of that, we have a flash flood warning that has taken hold until 11 o'clock for Apache Junction, Gold Canyon, Roosevelt. Oh, this just popped out. <laughs> Another severe thunderstorm warning. What else is new? This is the trend here for us this morning. Warning after warning after warning. Our atmosphere has a lot of spunk. Looks like this severe thunderstorm warning is now boxing in superior until 545. We zoom things out and wow. We've got a lot of action this morning across the state, whether it's the severe storms, the flooding threat, and even the tornado warnings we had this morning in the valley. We also have heavy blinding snow knocking out visibilities in the high country and snowfall reported as low as 2500 feet at Phantom Ranch at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, and it's also shut down. Highway 87 between Payson and Winslow because of this extreme winter weather. You got to go all the way to the western edge of our state to see any sort of clearing or drier air nudging in here. So this is the main event right now. The main thrust of this storm hitting us in the AM hours. The main threats being flash flooding and those strong straight line winds. Could we throw in another tornado warning before we send this thing packing to the east? Sure, so we're keeping our ears perked for that. Small hail is a possibility, and of course, we have also seen lots of lightning. Let's check in on those winds. Boy, are they wild in pace in 35, 40 in Shola right now, popping 37 in Greer in the Valley. We've seen those winds approaching 60 miles an hour, but right now a check here in Tempe, 18. Same with Gilbert, 27 for Queen Creek and Gold Canyon at the moment. Hour by hour, this is how things are going to shake out. By lunchtime, that's when maybe you can expect a break with some peaks of sunshine. But right now, stay inside, throw the covers back over your head. It's Black Friday after all. Look at the temperatures. Today and tomorrow could be the coldest since February. And some Valley neighborhoods could be waking up to the 30s tomorrow morning wow. and Sunday morning, but at least it'll be dry for the weekend. Okay, so can we get Arizona's forecast? Now? Yeah, I know. Uh, I was going to say. That's no. coming up next, the next block. <laughs> this is unprecedented. And could really? you believe more rain there at the tail end of that seven day no. by the middle of the week next week? Yeah. I mean, thankful for it, too. but it's almost too much of a good yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, all right, still ahead on today in AZ. We're not done, everyone. We're going back up to Flagstaff on the other side of this break. But before we leave you, take a look at the winds just whipping right here in downtown. 
No wonder we've had tornado warnings all across the entire state. It was incredible. incredible. Just a, a lot of employees to 12 new just walking into the building today. Yes. I mean, I'm a pretty big guy, and, and, and I literally had to use all my strength just to get to the front door. My goodness. All right, everyone, we'll be right back with more on what you need to know before you head out today. 12 News Traffic to Go is driven by Learner and Row. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. When you're in a car wreck, your whole life is upside down. When this happens, you need attorneys that can turn your life around. You need attorneys who can get you all the money you deserve. In a wreck and need a check, we're Learner and Row. Call 977-1900. Now handling roundup cases. Hey, sister. You triple rewardsing with Mountain America? You bet I'm Mountain America triple rewardsing. Are you triple rewardsing? I was born to triple rewardsing. I'll take these in a size triple rewardsing. Attention, price check on aisle triple rewardsing. Garçon, more triple rewardsing for everyone. I concur. For a limited time, get triple rewards on every visa purchase. Only with Mountain America. He could have just been the middle-class kid who made good, but Mike Bloomberg became the guy who did good. After building a business that created thousands of jobs, he took charge of a city still reeling from 9-11. A three-term mayor who helped bring it back from the ashes, bringing jobs and thousands of affordable housing units with it. After witnessing the terrible toll of gun violence, he helped create a movement to protect families across America and stood up to the coal lobby in this administration to protect this planet from climate change. And now he's taking on him to rebuild a country and restore faith in the dream that defines us, where the wealthy will pay more in taxes and the middle class get their fair share. Everyone without health insurance can get it, and everyone who likes theirs keep it. And where jobs won't just help you get by, but get ahead. And on all those things, Mike Bloomberg intends to make good. Jobs creator, leader, problem solver. Mike Bloomberg for president. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. Black Friday is here at American Furniture Warehouse. Stop in and find some of the best deals of the year on top of our everyday low prices. Hurry in and save big this Black Friday only at American Furniture Warehouse. For Black Friday savings on over a thousand vehicles, hurry to Henry Brown Buick GMC in Gilbert. Save up to $15,000 or get 0% for 72 months plus $2,500 bonus cash on new Sierras. It's always Henry Brown. Cowtown Boot Company, Arizona's largest Western wear store, offers these exotic skin boots. Alligators starting at $3.99. Ostrich from $2.49 to $3.49. Lizard or snake skin, $1.79. Rattlesnake, $1.99 to $2.99. Great gifts come in many sizes, up to size 15. With two locations to serve you, in Tempe at Scottsdale Road in Curry, and in Phoenix at the corner of I-17 and Thunderbird. We're opening at 9 a.m. for our Black Friday special, Cowtown Boots. Rodeo everywhere. Not the size of the wreck that matters, it's the size of the check. In a wreck and eat a check, we'll learn her in row. Call 977-1900. Now handling roundup cases. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we just had a power outage yeah, you, you here in the studio. Breaking news, there's a power outage at 12 News. I mean, the weather has been crazy, folks. Crazy is right. Speaking of crazy, we're up in Flagstaff right now. Erica Stapleton has been up there. Erica, I cannot believe the massive flakes that are falling all over there. What's the latest? What's that snow like? Um, it's really coming down as you can clearly see. And just to give you an example how quickly this can kind of pack up, I looked out my window this morning at around 4 a.m. and could still see the road outside. So take a look. This is what it looks like right now. So just more than an hour later, about an hour and a half-ish, and there's a couple inches on the ground. Now this is that packy kind of snow. I want to bring this in because Mike, I know you asked about snowmen. So I'm starting a good base here. So this, it probably took me like one minute to put this together. So imagine rolling it out on the ground. Great day for kids to maybe go outside and the yard, but maybe not so great to get out on the roads. The roads are going to be tough to travel on for at least a little while while plows are out doing their thing. As the snow continues to fall, we're expected to get a whole lot more throughout the morning, eventually tapering off around 9 a.m. I'm told, but then it's of course going to be sticking to the ground for a little while. So 
Lots of snow out here. We're going to be keeping track of all of it, and we're going to be working on this snowman as the morning goes on. So keep checking back in with us, and we'll also have a better look at some driving conditions as we make our way around downtown Flagstaff this morning. I'll send it back to you guys. You wouldn't believe the chaos that is happening right here in the studio. I know that you're freezing, but my goodness. <laughs> we had power out here. We're trying to get everything turned back on. This is going to be a wild morning. Yeah, th this is a day we just toss it to Crystal Henderson, and we say, do your magic, girl. Cause... Even Crystal doesn't have power. I know. <laughs> Even just knocked out my weather computer. Wow. Somehow the Doppler is still working on one particular computer, so we're going to give you a look at that soon. We're live right now. This is out on your roadways, everyone. Ooh. This is why you sleep in this morning. You stay in bed, and you enjoy this storm from the comfort of your own home. We're live out on your roadway showing you the worst spots why you need to just skip the commute. Crystal, what do you got? I mean, hurry up and inhale all your turkey leftovers. <laughs> yes. yes! Because the power's going out. You don't want all that food to go to waste. Oh, and why on earth would you want to go out in this? We've had severe thunderstorm warning after severe thunderstorm warning, heavy rain, getting clocked with strong winds, the lightning, even some tornado warnings. We're going to keep you abreast of all these storms throughout the morning. S stick around. You can also hear all about these storms if you just download our free 12 News app. Minute to minute information all uploaded. And I don't think you need power for this one, right? No, no? I don't think you just need to make sure your battery's charged. That's it. But if you're out of power, oh, <laughs> that could be an issue, but we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated for we'll sure right, right here. Back. It's the Today in AZ crew here. You've got a place right here with us. Wake up, have a cup of coffee. Interact with us and get your day off to a great start. Or catch the speed feed as you're rushing out the door in the morning. Join us for Today in AZ weekdays when you get up. Arizona is at the center of a national conversation. So we ask the questions that you would ask. Join us weeknights for 12 News at 5, 6, and 10. And NBC Nightly News at 5.30. It's a matter of facts. At Callbox, we believe self-storage should enter the 21st century. That's why we pick up, we store, and we bring it back when you want it. All at a comparable price. Callbox Storage. Never step foot in a storage unit again. Desert Autoplex RV, a better way to do business. Our biggest savings of the year are happening right now with a better way to do camping. Huge discounts on the Sportsman 241 RLSE, just 25 grand. Or the Sportsman 261 RLLE, just 28,000. And the Sportsman 301 BHKLE, an amazing 29,000. The biggest savings and the best selection. Call 480-964-2277 or visit DesertAutoplex.com. Family owned and operated Desert Autoplex RV, a better way to do business. It would break your heart to see what we pull out of here every day. You guys need some help? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. JJ, what? What's up, man? How's it going? Sure. Check it out, man. Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here? We're just doing the right thing. What's the dream? My dream is for people to think twice before they throw something out. I appreciate you having me out. You can swing a mean net, man. <laughs> Understanding the warning signs for suicide is the first step for prevention. I recently signed the Mitch Warnock Act to help prevent teen suicide in Arizona. Fact is, tens of thousands of high school students in Arizona experience ongoing feelings of sadness or hopelessness. These are our kids, so talk to them. Communication is key. Get involved. Your action can make a difference. If you or anyone you know can use assistance, visit 12news.com slash fact is. At Callbox, we believe self-storage should enter the 21st century. That's why we pick up, we store, and we bring it back when you want it. All at a comparable price. Callbox Storage. Never step foot in a storage unit again. What a morning, everyone. Good morning. A massive weather alert to tell you about. I'm Emma Jade in for Rachel McNeil. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Paul Gerke this morning. But it has been extremely active. Started overnight. We've had tornado warnings in Scottsdale, Gilbert, across the East Valley. We've had flash flood warnings across the region. We've got snow up in the high country. We lost power here insane. in the studio. <laughs> We're just getting, I mean, our technicians are working on it right now to, to literally get our cameras back on, folks. I wish I could show you what I'm looking at. <laughs> yes. Two of my friends. 
friends. We got Elston and Kenny working on trying to get everything back up and running here. This is wild. We want to take you out live right now and show you a little bit about the weather system that is threatening Black Friday and weekend travel plans. This is up in Flagstaff. Can you believe how much snow has already fallen? This is just the beginning of the storm, everyone. It came in a little bit later than we were expecting, but boy, is it packing a punch. And here in the valley. Oh, it's been, it's been unbelievable. We were up all night because of the high winds and extremely I mean, treacherous conditions out on the roadways right now. You're taking a live look from our tracker, our 12 News tracker out on the roads. They've been going from city to city, and everyone is just covered in rain. Yeah, I mean, just to put it in perspective, Matt Uris has been out all morning. Uh, he's seen trees down at 64th and Camelback, 64th Street, that is, uh, here okay. downtown, 7th and Van Buren. We've had a big palm tree that's gone down. Uh, Crystal's been telling us uh, up in the high country, you see it in Flagstaff, but already at the Grand Canyon at just 2,500 feet. Yes. They've got snow there, so we've got flash flood warnings in Buckeye out in the West Valley. We've, we've seen accidents in the West Valley and I 10 and Bullard. And since we've been here, we have had a number of tornado watches and warnings. So let's send it over to Crystal Henderson. Crystal, I know that you're in a tough spot right now because we did just lose power. We're trying to get everything turned back on. What can you tell us? I mean, can you imagine the damage we're going to find here this morning? knocking out power left and right, trees down. I had a weather watcher report that at Cactus and 40th Street, there are trees knocked over. Right now, we have a feisty storm slamming Florence and making its way towards Superior, where we find a severe thunderstorm warning at the moment until 545. So give it another 15 minutes here, and it's coming knocking. Lots of lightning with this, strong winds, and likely some hail. Also boxed out. Near Apache Junction is a flash flood warning because we've already wrung out a ton of rain in that area. Heavy rain continues to fall in North Scottsdale near Fountain Hills. The Sun Lakes area pushing to Gilbert. Light rainfall in the West Valley right now. Let's zoom in a little bit closer to this storm, the severe thunderstorm warning that's in effect for Superior and Queen Valley at the moment for another 15 minutes. Look what's coming at your doorstep here soon. That pinks are the heaviest rain and possibly hail zooming things out. Heavy snow falling in the high country. Snow levels continuing to crash, generally as low as 4,000 feet, but some snow has been reported as low as 2,500 feet at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Back to you. My goodness, Crystal, what a morning. All right, the powerful wind and rain is already causing problems out on the roadways, like we told you. Check out this palm tree that fell blocking the road at 7th Street in Van Buren, where we were walking into work. People yeah. blowing over. No, I literally, I, I was telling the viewers about 15 minutes ago when I was walking in around 3.15 this morning, it was just, the wind must have been 50 miles per hour. <laughs> we had several employees here at 12 News say we could barely uh, get in the door. So that's how severe and strong these winds are. Yeah. All right. Matt Uris is out live right now, keeping a look at the roadways. Matt, how is it looking so far? I'm hoping it's a little light out there traffic wise because, you know, day after a holiday and because of the treacherous storm. That is the silver lining here, Emma. There's traffic has been incredibly low. I feel like we're the only vehicle on the road at this time, which makes you pause for a second and think, what are you doing? But of course, we're glad to bring this to. Mike, I want to circle back with you for just a moment. You mentioned coming in around 3.15, 3.30 time frame and those winds really picking up. I walked in shortly before that and it was fine, no problem. A little cool chill in the air until a storm was brewing. But man, once it turned on, it hasn't quit. Let's take a look at this right now. Let's take a look at our 360 uh, roof cam. This is a cool shot that we have here that allows us to kind of pivot in all different directions and really get a, a full view of what's going on. We uh, started this uh, journey downtown around 4.15 or so this morning. It was raining strong there. We had east on Camelback towards Scottsdale, right around 64th Street. We did see damage. There were a number of branches down for about a 20 to, to 50 yard stretch. We've had large puddling throughout the valley. Right now we're heading on the 101 North where there are reports further ahead of more damage um, with possible road closures we've heard as well. Uh, I do want to say maybe two miles back to give our viewers some perspective. We passed Talking Stick Resort, Talking Stick, Stick Golf Course uh, there in Scottsdale. One more important note to flag here, if you can wait, and Crystal's been doing a great job reporting this all morning long, don't try to go shopping until at least after 9 a.m. Give a chance for this system to move through the valley. Right now it's just pushing east across the entire state. And one more note before I send it back to the studio. The puddling out here is for real. The 101's not too bad right now, as you see on our roof camera. 
but on, on City Streets, on Camelback, on 7th Street, on Hayden, Indian School. There have been different spots where we've been traveling, and you really can't see it coming, especially in the dark, and you get that, that, that wash. I don't want to overstate it, but, but to a certain level, that wash over the hood of your car, and uh, depending on what you're driving, that can definitely send you into the car dealership with a bill you don't want, don't need, or possibly worse. So again, stay safe. Wait until after about 9 o'clock in the morning if you can. And for now, we'll go ahead and go back to the studio, and we'll give you these continuing reports as we get closer to possible more damage. Mike, Emma? Well, and I mean, your boss has got to understand. Uh, you cannot get to work in some of these conditions. Yeah. I mean, we have had tornado warnings. This is so <laughs> insane for Arizona and where we live. This is just going to be a different morning where you're going to have to call oh, in no a little question. bit late. And Matt mentioned the pooling where, where I live out in the West Valley, kind of coming off the Watson exit. I live deep out in the West Valley, but there was a lot of pooling, especially as you got to Avondale, that Bullard exit. So oh. just be safe, folks. You're not, look what's happening in Flagstaff. Erica, every time we <laughs> send you, I swear, the, the last time we sent you, you're going to be a full-blown snowman by that time. <laughs> She thought she, you thought you were coming to Arizona to it the heat, huh? It might be possible. <laughs> yes. What's the latest? No, I did, I did, and it's fun. It's funny, we had um, a plow came by early and he yelled out to us. He's like, I thought this was supposed to be all cacti and palm trees. And I was like, me too, man, me too. But hey, you know what? I'm from a place where there's a lot of snow, so I'm used to it. And you can actually see we got plows out and active right over here. This is a park. It's hard to tell just yonder the street that way. And there's a city of Flagstaff plow. You can barely see it, actually. The visibility is quite poor. So keep that in mind. If you do choose to come out on the roads, I say choose because a lot of times it can be a choice. You don't necessarily have to get out here unless for some reason you do if so take it slow you can see plows galore out here there's a little guy over here trying to clear away some of the road and we actually had um someone come by with a snowblower earlier so there's a nice path if you want to call it a path on the sidewalk here in downtown flagstaff but you can see it's just continuing to pile up the snowblower probably came through not 10 minutes ago and there's already another layer of snow on top of that path here so we have seen some traffic out here today but fortunately it's been a lot of snow plows that have been out and about so they're working to clear the roadways doing what they can and then there's another a little smattering of some other drivers you can see we got one right over here and then there's some coming down Humphrey Street as we're going very slowly though so if you do have to get on the roads take an example from this take it slow and make sure you use your brakes, make sure everything's working, your tires are full. But again, it's advised that you do not get out, stay inside. You don't really want to go out in this. Like, look at this. If you're going out Black Friday shopping, <laughs> you might end up looking like this. Will it be worth it to get that deal? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's up to you. But definitely snowing out. We got a few inches on the ground and we're expected to get see if we can get a good measurement for you guys. And it's not just the load. Keep in mind, we have a lot of highways here and then the interstate well, well so it's going to be cleared. ADOT also out full force. So hopefully not bad for people, but again, the worst of it will be coming through the rest of the morning. So again, if you're traveling after Thanksgiving, getting out for Black Friday, we can't stay it enough. Take it slow or just don't take it at all. Yeah, I'll send it back it to you guys. Advice, yeah. I think you're right. Closures, especially on your way up to the high country. So power outages in the middle of the night. Well, we sure did. Thousands of SRP customers do not have power right now. Take a look at these lightning bolts. You see those? Each one is an outage. And we're going to find this map online. We're going to see this map as well. Big, big outage right now in Prescott. It's affecting about 1,200 people. But the power should be back on in the next. Keep checking these out maps all morning long. A lot of this has to do with the high wind. The severe oh, wind gusts. That's what was happening over in our neighborhood. 1 a.m. Yeah, the wind on the highs on I-10 I coming in this morning, and obviously just walking into work was crazy. So with all that being said, if you're for this major in your app store right now. Okay, let's get you up to speed now on the stories that you need. Start morning. Police are investigating after someone car in Phoenix last night. We're told it happened at the intersection of Hayden School and Indian School Road as well. It's unclear what led up to that death crash at this point. Police have not identified the person who was hit at this point. Okay, this morning we know a fire in this living home was caused by food that was left on the stove. It happened in Plaza Del Rio. The sprinkler system put the fire out and arrived on the scene, but it did cause a lot of water damage. Almost 40 people had 
to be moved as a result. Some were taken home by family members. Others were actually, they had to be moved to open units in the building or even taken to a nearby hotel. Right now, more than 50,000 people remain under evacuation after a chemical plant explosion in Texas on Wednesday night. The TPC chemical plant in Port Natchez, which is about 100 miles outside of Houston, is still burning at this hour. Officials plan to meet today to decide when an evacuation order will be lifted. It's still unclear how that blast happened. Now you're up to speed. You can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com or the 12 News app. All right, so I know we haven't talked about it at all, which is crazy, but it is Black Friday, everyone, yes, and a it? lot of people are trying to go out and shop, but not here in Arizona. You think that the weather would prevent people from shopping? Not a Cabela's. Not a Cabela's shopper, Emma. It is a different story at Cabela's <laughs> right now. We're sending out live to Vanessa Ramirez. Vanessa, we for sure thought that the weather would keep people at home this morning. That is not the case. No, that is not the case at all, Emma. The doors opened about, what, 45 minutes ago. People are in here going crazy, shopping, getting all the great items. I mean, I'm by one of the hot spots. These $10 fleece jackets, and they have $10 hoodies, and people are shopping for the whole family out here this morning. They've been waiting for hours. Okay, I'm here with the Angelos. We have Angelo Sr. and Angelo Jr. And what brought you guys out here today? His real. His real? Yeah, he's a big fishing guy, so... Okay. They had a great deal on a reel, and he's like, Dad, can you take me down there? And he's like, they're going to be gone. This is one of the best deals of the year, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, kid, let's go. <laughs> what time did you guys get out here this morning? We left the house at about 2.45, got here eh, about 3.30. Okay, wait, is this your Christmas present? Uh, no, it's just like my birthday present. Oh, birthday. Okay, let's do birthday. And then also, I, Dad, I heard you're doing some Christmas shopping. How are you hiding it from him? I'm not. <laughs> He's too old for that. Okay, he's too old for that. So what else do you have in the cart here? Well, Bass Pro hoodie. And then uh, he got accepted at NAU, so we're going to get him a nice, thick winter jacket. So keep him warm up there in the snow. All right. Well, congratulations to going to NAU. Thanks for coming out here so early and shopping with us. And uh, you know, next up, I have a couple shoppers that came all the way out from Sholo, and they've been doing this for years. So we're going to talk to them next to see what they're getting today. Awesome Vanessa. stuff. What a morning. I love those guys. He dragged me out. Yeah. In the middle of the storm. 245. It's a deal. <laughs> Jeez. All right. 544. 545 almost. All right, Crystal. I know. One thing for weather when really you have a thousand things to tell yeah. us. Yeah. But what do you got, sister? Well, it all boils down to right now is crunch time for the craziest that this storm system has to offer right now with flash flooding threats, severe thunderstorm threats in the valley, and heavy snow this morning in the high country. All right, thanks, Crystal. Coming up, everyone, we are back out live on the roadways. Some spots a little drier than others will tell you where the worst of it is coming down and why you just need to call in a little late to work this morning. Start your Black Friday shopping with some of the biggest savings of all at the Hyundai Black Friday sales event. Get 0% APR for 72 months or $3,000 in savings on the 2020 Elantra. Offers end December 2nd. Cobblestone Auto Spa, leader in quality, service, and value. With 27 plus locations and counting, now is the time to go unlimited. Wheel cleaning, interior vacuum, air freshener, hand towel dry, and so much more. With eight different options, there's an unlimited plan for everyone. Save time, save money. Arizona weather can be tough on your car. Take care of it with us. Cobblestone Auto Spa. Go unlimited. $600 leather handbags free. $800 handmade rugs free. Duh. Black Friday. Serta's $3,500 i-series any size. $4.95. 100% top grain American leather. Never before, never again. 85% off. Lane bunk beds, $199. $800 leather trunks, $199. Power seats, headrests, Bluetooth touchscreen. Save $1,000. Save the most time and money on Black Friday. 7 a.m. To the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. This holiday season, make the most of your road home.
Hurry in to receive a credit of up to $4,500 on select models now through December 2nd. Cirque Dreams Holiday Sparkles with its unforgettable holiday spectacular for the entire family. Dazzling at the Grand Ole Opry House proclaims the Tennessean. Over 20 of the world's best acts, 300 jaw-dropping costumes, extraordinary music, and Broadway at its finest. It's talent by the sleigh load, says the New York Daily News. Don't miss the one and only Cirque Dreams Holidays. Live at the Comerica Theater, December 20th through 22nd. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Start your Black Friday shopping with some of the biggest savings of all at the Hyundai Black Friday sales event. Get 0% APR on the Tucson or Santa Fe or $42.50 in savings on the Tucson. Offers end December 2nd. Can't wait for date night. Let's go. We got to start keeping it clean after date night. Only if we're talking about a car wash. The weather report on Today in AZ is sponsored by Superstar Car Wash. We do unlimited right. Text NBC to 27800 to get a free wash. Well, welcome back to you Today in AZ. We continue to follow breaking weather news across the state of Arizona, folks. This is a live look up in Flagstaff right now where they expect up to two feet of snow in some areas. ADOT already out with their plows. The city plows are out. We've got Erica Stapleton there live keeping you up to date on the weather up in the high country. But Emma, it has been an active morning, that's for sure. To say the least, I mean, here in the valley, we've had tornado warnings. We have had severe wind gusts and now comes the rain and up in Flagstaff as you can see we got the snow coming down. It's been interesting because we've been going since 430. Snow was pretty yeah. light then. Now it is heavy now. It is extremely heavy. We're going to have an update from Erica who is live out there exactly right at that corner telling us how bad the roadways are. We're going to send it over to Crystal to kind of get an update on where the storm is right now, Crystal. What's the latest? Oh my goodness. It's like Mother Nature's been having a temper tantrum this morning, throwing out all the stops. We need a weather timeout here because it's flash flood warning after severe thunderstorm warning, after flash flood warning, after tornado warning. Bottom line, flash flooding is the biggest threat for us here as the main thrust of the storm pushes through. Superior, you've got a drenching downpour over you right now with lots of lightning, plenty of claps of lightning near Apache Junction, Florence, a burst of heavy rain. Same with North Mesa down towards Gilbert and Chandler. Some light rain falling in the downtown area and the West Valley. We zoom things out here. Give me one second and there we go. Zoom it out. Mother Nature's a lot more up her sleeve for us right now, including that heavy snowfall in the high country. As snow levels continue their decline, tumbling all the way down to around 4,000 feet, although there have been some reports around 2,500 feet at the bottom of the Grand Canyon with the flakes swirling there. This is going to continue to pace across the highways and the byways. The 40 wreaking havoc on the 87, so much so that they've had to shut it down between Payson and Winslow. That, along with whipping winds, is going to cause for some blinding snow and reduced visibilities and with the strong winds in the valley that is some stinging rain that is coming out of some of those stronger showers and storms flash flooding and winds top the list for our concerns this morning there's a moderate threat for lightning and then we still have to keep our ears perked for a tornado and in some cases those more, more potent storms are flinging out some small hail. So we're watching for that too. How about those winds? Strong right now in cells in Tucson in the 40s, popping near 40 in Greer and Sholo. And we've also seen those gusts uh, approaching 60 miles per hour with some of those severe worn storms in the valley. But right now, some of the strongest winds we're finding are close to 30 miles an hour at Santan Valley. How long do we have to have the umbrellas on hand and hang on tightly because they're going to turn inside out? Well, through at least 10 o'clock this morning, we're looking at a thumbs up possibility for more rain for your gauge. Sky Harbor is approaching that half inch mark so far, but add a plus sign to that. We might even see some peaks of sun by lunchtime. So if you could hold off on the Black Friday shopping till the PM hours, that's what I would give you the thumbs up on. Of course, I know a lot of those deals end by after you know once the clock strikes noon but it's just not worth it to go out in these wild winds right now and heavy rain some of these storms very fierce and it's what comes after this winter storm that's going to have everybody reaching for the extra layer we're talking about the coldest high temperatures since february oh come on wow yeah crystal do you think the wind is going to stick around 
for much longer. How much longer are we going to have to deal with these high wind gusts? That's going to start to relax later on in the PM hours as well. Right now, that wind advisory is still in place. That's been the worst of it. Usually, it's the rain that gets me, but the wind. The wind. I feel like I got shredded walking into the station today. I was yeah. terrified. Wrong. They're howling. Those well, winds. yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. I want to give you an update. Speaking of the winds, uh, Phoenix Police Department's been active this morning on Twitter. They say southbound lanes restricted at 7th Street Union Hills because of trees that have been knocked over. You see the flags whipping right uh, on our weather cam here in downtown. One more Thunderbird Road at 1st Avenue and 7th between 7th Street eastbound closed because of all of the trees. Uh, Matt, you're us out in our tracker right now, keeping you updated as well. We'll have more on the flip side of this break. Stay with us. Twelve News Traffic to Go is driven by Learner and Row. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. Being hurt in a car wreck can make the bottom fall out of your life. Missed work and mounting medical bills can cause you to lose everything. Don't let a car wreck wreck your life. Call Lerner and Rowe today for a free consultation. Call 977-1900. Now handling Ronda cases. It's the best time of the year, baby, baby, it's the best time. This Black Friday, the gift you really want is at Nissan's Black Friday event. Save big on our tech-filled lineup, like Rogue with available Safety Shield 360 or Altima with available intelligent all-wheel drive. Hurry in now. Save up to 3000 on the 2020 Rogue or get a low 289 per month lease on the 2019 Kicks. Thinking about the open road? Maybe a quick trip out to your favorite fishing hole? Or taking your best friends out for a bike ride? Desert Autoplex RV can make your next night under the stars even more memorable. So when you decide to take the long one or just stay one extra night, Desert Autoplex RV has all the booking options you'll need. Call or click to get your adventure started today. Desert Autoplex RV, a better way to do business. For Black Friday savings on over a thousand vehicles, hurry to Henry Brown Buick GMC in Gilbert. Save up to 20% off MSRP or get 0% for 72 months plus $1,500 bonus cash on new Buicks. It's always Henry Brown. The holidays are here and there's no better place to celebrate than Westgate Entertainment District. We've created an incredible winter wonderland from our 36-foot Christmas tree and free horse-drawn carriage rides to visits with Santa Claus and a real ice skating rink. Not to mention all the great shopping and dining. There's fun, entertainment, and holiday cheer for the whole family all season long. Jingle bells, baby. Fact, coffee stains teeth. Unlike ordinary whitening toothpaste, Colgate Optic White has hydrogen peroxide that goes below the tooth surface for a smile that's four shades visibly whiter. Colgate Optic White, whitening works. Life doesn't give you many second chances. But a Subaru can. You guys okay? Eyesight with pre-collision braking. Standard on the Subaru Ascent. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Visit your local Phoenix Subaru retailer for a test drive today. Black Friday is here at American Furniture Warehouse. Stop in and find some of the best deals of the year on top of our everyday low prices. Hurry in and save big this Black Friday only at American Furniture Warehouse. Good morning, everyone. Out live right out on your roadways. This storm has been unbelievable. You're taking a live look. This is Matt Uris, who is in the 12 News Storm Tracker right now. They're on the 101. They're heading on the, over to Greenway, where we're hearing of some trees that are down because of the insane winds that have been whipping all morning long, all night long. The rain coming down pretty heavy in some spots all across the valley. 
Good news is a lot of people have today off. So yeah. the roads aren't too bad. I mean, of course, they're wet, but thankfully they're not too crowded. We're going to go live and get an update for you. If you do have to head out to work, the things you need to know, 10 a.m. might be that sweet spot for you if you do need to head in. All right, on that note, we're going to toss it to Crystal Henderson. And Crystal, boy, we've had flash flood warnings. We've had tornado warnings. We've got snow up in the high country. Uh, what's one thing to know <laughs> besides the million things to know this morning? Let's see if I could pick one. Well, there's a new storm report that just came in that Thunderbird Road between 7th Avenue and 3rd Street is just littered with toppled trees. So avoid that area. Plus, some heavier rain right now being squeezed out of the clouds in Tempe, Chandler, Gilbert, and Mesa. All right, thanks, Crystal. Taking you out live again this morning. Oh, the plows are just, they got their work cut out for them. <laughs> this is over in Flagstaff, everyone. We're going to take you out there live in just a few minutes, give you the latest on snow totals and why you've got to stay off the roads this morning. All that and more coming up. Since 1951, Earnhardt Auto Centers has been Arizona's family-run car center. As a matter of fact, many of our customers aren't the first in their family to shop with us. Generations of Arizona families have trusted Earnhardt to help them find the perfect car. Find our entire inventory of vehicles at Noble.com and see what generations of happy customers already know. Earnhardt Auto Centers is where Arizona buys cars. And that ain't no bull. I like to sign up for free checking. I'm happy to help. There are no fees, no minimum balance, and you get more. And more? Yes. You get an annual bonus and cash back oh. and mobile apps and voice banking and huh, you get to support the community. I should have brought a bigger purse. <laughs> Life is busy. Your hands are full. But with Desert Financial, they're full of cash, convenience, community, and more. This year, don't just celebrate Christmas. Make it a Learner and Row Christmas. And a happy Hanukkah. Go to our Learner and Row Facebook page, tell us what you want, and you just may get it. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. Diamonds, the timeless gift. The Jewelry Exchange has thousands of GIA diamonds at the guaranteed lowest price. Half carat solitaires, four ninety nine. One carat, nine ninety. Two carat, twenty four ninety. And one carat studs, five ninety nine. Buy factory direct and save. The Jewelry Exchange, Phoenix. Vein envy. Vein disease is two times more common than heart disease. More than thirty million people go undiagnosed every year. Some symptoms are easy to recognize, like skin discoloration, leg swelling, or spider veins. I'm Dr. Ryan Jones at Vein Envy. We want you healthy without any discomfort. If you're experiencing itchy, numb, or heavy legs, it may be cause for concern. Not treating vein disease may lead to serious complications. Call, click, or come in for a free consultation. Covered by most medical insurances and Medicare. You're watching Today in AZ. It's a matter of facts. Good morning, everyone. Right now on Today in AZ, there is a major storm moving through Arizona. It is pouring rain here in the valley, making for extremely dangerous driving conditions on our roads. We're taking you out there live. And it's not just the rain, it's the wind too, folks. They're so fast, they toppled trees all across the valley. You see this palm tree uh, right near the station at 7th Street and Van Buren. This major storm is not just hitting us down here in the valley, up in the high country. You're not going to believe how much snow. The pl plows are out this morning. Here we go. Thanks for waking up with us, everyone. I'm Emma Jade in for Rachel McNeil this morning. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Paul Gerke. Needless to say, it has been an active morning. We've got team coverage for you. Matt Uris is in our storm tracker. He's been tracking the storms all across the valley. Erica Stapleton is up in Flagstaff tracking all the snow. Yeah, first we got to start with meteorologist Crystal Henderson. Crystal, where do you want to start? I mean, do you see all the commotion behind me? We've been keeping our eye on the heavy rain, but notice the snow invading into the valley picture here. 
Snow levels are crashing down, reported as low as 2,500 feet. So while that's going on, we've been clocked by a few severe thunderstorms, and boy, have they put out a lot of rain. We're dealing with some flash flooding in places like Apache Junction, Gold Canyon, Gila Bend, up towards New River, Cave Creek, Carefree, where we have flash flood warnings continuing to keep their chokehold. Meantime, the valley boxed out in flood advisories because of all the rain that is being flung out from these clouds even some storms throwing out some small hail. We've had a handful of some tornado warnings earlier today and we zoom things out and you can see Mother Nature has so much more in the cards for us throughout the AM hours. That's what we think it is game on right now for the worst of the worst. Back to you. Whew, worst of the worst is right all around us in the valley. The rain is going to be a big safety oh, yeah. issue out on our roads. If you can stay home, do it or call in just a little bit late this morning. Especially if you have Black Friday shopping, you can do the same thing online. Yeah, Matt Uris out in the 12 News Weather Tracker with road conditions. Matt, where are you? How's it looking right now, bud? Uh, same as it's been, just continue down. Now, downpour is too strong a phrase, but a steady rain that's been going on throughout the morning right now. We're on Thunderbird Road heading east towards Central Avenue where we hear there's reports of at least one cl uh, road closure, some potential damage. We're heading there now to put eyes on ourselves to be able to confirm that. Let's go ahead and take a look here at what we're looking at as we head down Thunderbird uh, Road again heading east towards Central Avenue. We've been all over the valley this morning. We started from our downtown studios there at 3rd and Van Buren, picked up 7th Street, headed north and then uh, east on Camelback towards Scottsdale where there was severe weather, straight line winds. Around 64th Street in Camelback, we did see uh, tree limbs and branches down for about a, a 20 to 40 yard stretch, which I always find fascinating when you see this in weather events where that, that wind just picked up at the exact right momentum and the exact speed and was able to take those uh, trees down. I want to point out real quick, you might have caught on the left side of your camera that uh, water spraying up over the hood and onto the windshield just a bit. This has been a continuing event for us throughout the valley this morning. If you're on the road right now, you can see there is some traffic despite the holiday weekend. It's really important to watch out for these puddles that you don't quite realize how deep they, they are. That one wasn't much. We have had a little bit more than that. And from previous reporting we've all done uh, and all seen uh, throughout the valley during weather events, it can get deep quickly. So as you go through the roads, if you're in that left or right lane where it tends to puddle up, take it easy be on the lookout for that again right now we're heading towards central avenue you can see up on your right side of the screen just barely uh through our our, our roof cam here that gives us a 360 view some flashing lights those are police lights you can see a number of cars moving over the left if i got the time here from our producers we will uh, pan the camera over the right as we pass by there to, to see if this is a potentially weather-related incident you can see some damage down the right side of the road uh, some leaves there. There's some branches moments ago our camera did not quite pick up. You can see traffic coming to pretty much a standstill. Yeah, we're getting turned around here. So we're at uh, Thunderbird Road headed east towards Central Avenue and uh, police have got this completely blocked off. As we came up to this point, we saw uh, some branches down on the ground. Not sure if our camera caught. You should be able to see some of it on the right side of your screen there as I pan down. You can see the officer right now in the middle of the road. Let's go Let's go through here real slowly, Brett, and see if we can just get a shot down the street to get a better idea of what's going on. Yeah, okay, so we're going to pause right here, Brett. If you can pull over to the left of this parking lot, if you see those headlights right down there at the bottom uh, of this road as it tilts downwards, it slopes downward, I should say. There, are, There's cars uh, that appear, uh, at least one car, I should say, that appears to be covered in water. It looks, Brett. It's hard to tell from here. I don't want to misreport this. But that car seems to be stranded in water. I'll tell you what, uh, if we can just kind of ease down past this, this branch. And as you hear me refer to Brett for our viewers, that's the photographer I'm working with this morning. He's, he's driving our, our tracker here. And we're viewing this through our 360-degree camera on top of the roof. You can see a number of officers. I'm going to pan to the right here. Oh, look, look at that. those branches down. Wow. As you can see, we've had some severe straight straight line winds come through. Crystal's been reporting this, this all morning about the severe storms. And we're, we're now confirming these reports with our, our own camera lens. You can see flooding, and I pan to the left here with this camera and point down just a bit. You can see the waters come through, uh, coming through this intersection. Brett, are we stuck here, man? It's, uh, we're on a side road. So we're on a side road. Uh, officers have let us at least come this far. I'm going to, you can see the damage here straight ahead of us. Are we able to wow. pull, pull through a bit more, Brett, you think? 
No, we're going to stay here. I'm going to go back to you guys in the studio, Emma and Mike, just for a second. If you got some questions, feel free to throw them my way. But once I'm clear here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down further on this scene okay. and get some photos uh, on my cell phone, get it tweeted out immediately so we can get that out on 12 news social feeds, and also hopefully flag an officer over for a second and just see if you'll give me a, a tidbit of information. But uh, again, we came up to this. We're right at uh, Thunderbird Road and Central for our viewers. Completely shut down if you're in both directions, actually, east or west. You're not getting through right now. And it seems, based on initial reporting here I'm doing, it's going to be that way for a while based on the damage. So, again, I'm going to go walk up there. I'll get on foot, get through this water in front of me, and see if we can get a better idea of what's going on, uh, Mike and Emma. You know, it's interesting because this spot isn't very familiar to me with flooding. Like, I mean, I've been covering these right. streets for almost 10 years now, and I, I, I haven't we haven't covered Thunderbird and Central with flooding before, so they must have been hit really hard in this area. Can you believe all the trees that yeah, were down? Yeah, it's just, well, those straight line winds that Matt was talking about. Uh, Matt, where you are right now, it doesn't appear like the wind is whipping uh, too crazily. How's it, how's it going right now as we see some traffic finally moving? Uh, there is, the, the rain is actually, listen, uh, this is the, the, the least it's been raining on morning. It's down to a sprinkle. I do want to say, as you just pointed out, Mike, that west side, they are letting people through uh, uh, right now. Uh, east, though, I just don't see how you get through anytime soon. you got both officers uh, stretched out from about 100 yards apart, completely blocking those lanes. You had some significant uh, branches and trees down in that area. And again, once I get out on foot, I'll look to confirm, but it appeared that there was a car stuck at the intersection there of Central and Thunderbird. I want to flag one more thing because Emma brought this up saying, uh, you know, we've never reported significant flooding here at Thunderbird and Central. We were at I-17 in Greenway, which is just right up the road from here. And that's that the area floods. where we typically yeah. see significant flooding. Yeah, exactly. During these weather events. So really interesting this morning, Mother Nature uh, playing a little bit of a trick on us who do this for a living. And it's at Thunderbird and Central, a couple miles away, where we're seeing the most significant damage, guys. Boy, that is interesting because you guys have been covering this valley this morning. I mean, you guys got out there right around 4 a.m. and have been going all over. And this does look to be, at least right now, the worst spot. So I know you're going to get out and try and figure out a little bit more information about what exactly is going on there. But the winds that came through, oh, it's there's no surprise that we're seeing stuff like this out on our roads. No, it's been unbelievable. I've been tracking Twitter pretty closely. The National Weather Service just tweeted this out. And Crystal's been telling you about this as well. Flash flood warnings across the region they just issued one for Wickenburg and Whitman you know kind of on the periphery of the valley but uh, it's a really real thing with the rain that's still going another one uh, New River Arizona as well as Cave Creek carefree all have flash flood warnings right Ooh. now so you not only have the wind you've got the rain and look how active the radar is right now on your screen folks well that's the problem too is that this rain is going to stick around at least until about 10 a.m that's according to some of crystal's calculations we're going to check back in with her in just a second but you think it's bad here take a look now <laughs> at poor erica who is covered in flagstaff what's the latest there well, it's still snowing, as you can see. <laughs> Lots of snow coming down, and it's coming down fast. Take a look. We got a plow in action right here. We want to show you this before he finishes up this lot. They've been on the move all morning, not the first one we've seen. So this is a parking lot in a park right in downtown Flagstaff. And then we've seen lots of plows out on the road. But just to give you an idea of how quickly this is coming down, I want to show you the footprints that we took or that we made on our way over here. Um, we probably have been cave walked over about 20 minutes ago and you can see they're almost completely filled in at this point in time. And then just right next to them, I'm sure these might be some bushes. It's hard to tell. There's lots of snow just coming down, completely blanketing the entire area of Flagstaff. I would say if I had to guess, um, it's probably about half a foot right now. And that's concerning not just for plows and crews, but people out on the roadways. So all this snow buildup, it's packy snow. So that's pretty, it's not necessarily that mushy, slippery kind, but it can get pretty slick, especially if it packs down much. I'll show you a little example here. So on the sidewalk, I hope we're on a sidewalk. At least I think we're on a sidewalk. <laughs> if you kind of go down, if you kind of make your way, if I can dig here with my boots, let's see, hey, get down. Look at, move this way. We gotta... Oh. Hold on, I'll move. Don't want to get in the plow's way. It looks like they might be plowing some stuff. So let me 
spin around, redo that example, safety first, of course. So if we want to go down here, you can make it to the sidewalk, but if you want, if you can kind of come see, I don't know how close we can get down here, but if you see, it kind of turns to that clearer, it's more slippery snow. So as they're going to be clearing snow out of the roadways, this is what's going to be left over. So it's going to be slick out on the roads for a while. Now, of course, the snow is going to keep coming down. We're told until around nine o'clock, these plows are going to be out here. We're going to be out here. And if you have to get out here, don't if you don't have to. That's the biggest advice because it's very cold. It's getting pretty windy and crews are trying to work to make the roads clear. If you do have to get out, we can't say this enough. Just take it super slow because it's definitely something you don't want to get caught up in. It's not something you don't want to have an accident in. And speaking of accidents, we actually caught up with the Flagstaff Fire Department um, a couple days ago when we first came out here and they're going to be having um, a special group that's actually going to be posted up on the 180 corridor because they're expecting such bad travel on that road. They're going to be there kind of stationed in case people do end up getting in some slippery accidents out here today and that's something that um, they've actually had to take into consideration just with this significant snowfall so keep that in mind too first responders it might be difficult for them to get to you so that's something to keep in mind and visibility is also pretty poor we've kind of been walking around this morning and the snow is falling down it's completely whited out in some areas and we're in a pretty well lit area so you got to keep all of that in mind if you're going out today but the best thing you could possibly do is maybe just sit inside watch us watch us out here let us do the work for you let us feel the example of all this snow and i do want to show you guys it's great packing snow so if kids maybe want to get out and play or adults you never know it's really good that packy kind of snow so show you this right here it packs really nicely. I can make a great snowball right now. I'm not going to throw it at the camera, but I have been working on a snowman as well. Take awesome. a look at this. That's the base. I had another part. <laughs> I had another part coming up somewhere. I think it might have gotten buried, but we're going to be working on this and hopefully we'll have a nice full snowman for you as we continue out through the morning. And again, just an example of how packy that snow is and how intensely it is coming down. And again, if you guys have any questions, happy to happy to stand out here, happy to test some things out. We'll see what we can show you. All right, Erica, we, we just want to see how that snowman comes together. We know you've dealt with snow in the past, so we, we appreciate your... She uh, sounds like an expert, doesn't oh, she? No, she's I mean, if I was great. in there, I would be screaming be bloody dying. murder, for goodness sakes. <laughs> I know. Wow. It's, it's, it's never fun to be in the snow, especially when uh, it's cold like that. <laughs> yeah. we, we appreciate her out there. Okay, if you're headed out of the house today, obviously make sure you wear rain boots here in the valley. Download the 12 News app as well. We'll send severe weather alerts for this major storm that is really across the entire state, folks. 12 News app absolutely free in your app store right now. All right, everyone, we have some breaking news from overnight. There was a deadly shooting at 19th Avenue in Van Buren. This was at the K Motel. When officers got there, they found a man laying on the floor of a room with at least one gunshot wound. They haven't released any other information about the victim or any suspects, but you can bet we'll keep you posted. Let's get you up to speed now on the stories that you need to know to get your morning started. A man is dead after a crash in Mesa on Thanksgiving Day. Take a look at this. It happened right near the intersection of Greenfield and 40th Street. Police say several people called police to report of a reckless driver in the area shortly before this crash happened. It appears a truck clipped another vehicle before rolling over. The man accused of reckless driving was the one killed in the crash. New video out of California where a collapsed drain is causing major traffic delays on the I-10. This is in Redlands, which is actually part of the drive if you're going between LA and the Valley. Traffic had to be diverted, or excuse me, traffic had to be diverted around the mudslide. Some flooding also caused lane closures. You can bet that's worse today. No word yet on how long it's going to take to repair this part of the freeway. America's longest war could be getting closer to an end. President Donald Trump says talks between the U.S. and Taliban will be resuming. This comes after President Trump paid a surprise visit to troops in Afghanistan. He served them Thanksgiving dinner, spent more than two and a half hours on the ground serving Turkey and sitting down with the Afghan president. Now you're up to speed. Don't forget, you can always find the latest news on our website, 12news.com, or just download the free 12 News app. All right, Crystal, we're sending it over to you. What is the latest? Well, we expect the snowflakes to be flying all day long, but when it comes to valley rainfall chances, have the umbrella handy through at least 10, 11 o'clock this morning. Then in the p.m. hours, we might even see some breaks of sun and maybe the spottiest shower or storm before we wrap things up this evening. 
All right, Crystal, thanks so much. Before we head to break, much more ahead in this massive storm that's blanketing the entire state. This is a live look right now, Thunderbird and Central. Uh, one of the lanes just opened, but Matt Uris is there live, uh, tracking what is just flooding all across that area. Uh, he's been up to 17 and Greenway where he saw some flooding. Uh, there's trees down all across the region. So stay with Channel 12. We've got all your storm coverage coming up. Closed captioning on 12 News is brought to you by Sound Relief Hearing Center. Changing lives one ear at a time. If you're not responsible while you're behind the wheel, you can cause damage, injury, and even death. Fact is, more than two car accidents every day in Arizona are the result of distracted driving. I'm Tony. My son Clayton Townsend dedicated his life to protecting the people as an officer. Now it's time for all of us to protect each other. If you text and drive, please stop. No text message is as important as the ones we love. Join the coalition to keep Arizona safe and visit 12news.com slash fact is for more information. While you're enjoying your holiday, we're on a weather alert with a winter storm pounding Arizona. Stick with 12 News for continuing coverage and get hyper-local forecasts with the 12 News app. Connect with us today. Black Friday is here at American Furniture Warehouse. Stop in and find some of the best deals of the year on top of our everyday low prices. Hurry in and save big this Black Friday only at American Furniture Warehouse. Desert Autoplex RV, a better way to do business. Our biggest savings of the year are happening right now. Fall into savings with this Heartland Big Country 3560 SS. Now just $69,000. For this Heartland Elk Ridge 37RK, just $53,000. And an incredible $47,000 for this Heartland Elk Ridge Focus 360NB. Fall into savings in the best selection. Call 480-964-2277 or visit DesertAutoplex.com. Family owned and operated Desert Autoplex RV, a better way to do business. For all the storytellers who want their voices brought to life, here is your canvas. Sneaky big, make magic here. For Black Friday savings on over a thousand vehicles, hurry to Henry Brown Buick GMC in Gilbert. Save up to $15,000 or get 0% for 72 months plus $2,500 bonus cash on new Sierras. It's always Henry Brown. keeping it clean after date night. Only if we're talking about a car wash. The Weather Report on Today in AZ is sponsored by Superstar Car Wash. We do unlimited right. Text NBC to 27800 to get a free wash. Boy, I hope you have the day off. I hope that crazy. you can just stay inside. Yes. You can watch all of this happen from the comfort of your own home. Crystal, my home was not very com comfortable overnight. We lost power <laughs> yeah, about six yeah. or seven times. I had to wake my husband up he to open the, the garage? garage for me so I could get what a out. Nice guy. He hasn't, been, he hasn't slept since because the kids keep waking <laughs> yeah. up. Oh, it's a mess. What's yes. the latest? The winds were howling at my house, too, and they're continuing to be pretty feisty here this morning. You know, we're on pace to break a nearly century old rainfall record at Sky Harbor. 0.72 inches fell on this date in 1922. And look where we're at right now. 0.56. We're just over a tenth of an inch gap from meeting that mark. And it is still raining. Add a plus sign to all of these totals, but just wanted to give you a heads up of the collection so far. Just over an inch in Cave Creek, Glendale, about two thirds of an inch. We got Phoenix and Gilbert over a half of an inch and approaching that mark in Apache Junction where a flash flood warning has been keeping grip. 
We are getting clobbered. This storm system is going gangbusters on the valley. We've got heavy rain from Avondale to Peoria moving into Phoenix. Look at this burst that just popped up around Maricopa. It's like presto changeo in a matter of minutes. We're starting to see heavier rain around Fountain Hills, Gilbert, Sun Lakes, over towards Superior and Florence, where we're also touching off plenty of lightning strikes, some strong winds, generally gusting between 40 and 50 miles an hour. We've even plopped out some hailstones out of some of the stronger storms. And Mother Nature still has more up her sleeve for us, including the cold air that's invading the state. Snow levels coming crashing down generally around 4,000 feet, but there have been some spots where we've got a big glass of cold air that's knocked it down to 2,500 feet, such as the base of the Grand Canyon. We're going to continue to pace the higher elevations with snow. Look at some of the snowflakes are starting to even creep in close to the valley. So we might be waking up and looking at the mountains to the north and east of Phoenix and saying, that's snow on the tippy tops of those mountains. But the primary concerns right now, flash flooding and winds topping the list with some of these robust showers and thunderstorms that are erupting. Lightning is also a concern and we have to have our ears perked for tornado and hail once we see some potent storms roll through the valley. The potential is still there throughout the AM hours, so we have to keep our eyes to the sky or better yet, Put the blanket over the head, just stay inside and then wake up once it's lunchtime and then you're stuffing yourself with some leftover turkey. Then break out the warm winter gear because we've got high temperatures that are at their coldest since February. We've got valley locations tomorrow morning and Sunday morning that are going to be waking up into the 30s. It's going to be a cloudy affair throughout the seven day and we just might ring some more raindrops out of those clouds by midweek again. You said something funny, Emma, was, <laughs> okay, well, let's get the Arizona forecast now, yes. not the Salt Lake City. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, Jokes on everyone who came here from the Midwest yeah, know, to get right? out and get some nice sunshine. <laughs> it's been insane, but Crystal, thanks for your hard work this morning. Yeah. As we head to break, uh, we're going to show you a live look at our roof cam. Take a look at your screen, folks, and all the wind. So I, I've been taking notes of everything Crystal's been saying. So. It started out with a tornado warning in North Scottsdale early this morning, a tornado warning in Gilbert, Apache Junction. We've had flash flood warnings in Buckeye, Apache Junction, urban and small street flooding across the region. So keep it locked right here to Today on AZ because Crystal has you covered with this major storm blanketing the entire state of Arizona. And we got this crazy wind and also crazy rain. Take a live yeah. look, everyone. This is downtown Phoenix. You look close to those street lights. You can just see it mm. coming down and it's not letting up anytime soon. We'll tell you exactly when you should expect better conditions. That's coming up. Well, news traffic to go is driven by Learner and Row. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. Hurt and a wreck and think you can't afford a lawyer? Think again. At Learner and Row, the call is free, the consultation is free, and the advice is free. If you've got a phone, you've got Learner and Row. Call 977 1900. Now handling roundup cases. Liberty, a death. Audiences across America are celebrating Harriet with the stunning A plus cinema score. Rolling Stone raves. It's glorious and soaring, and will have you cheering for a hero whose time is now. Ready? Yeah. Harriet, we did PG 13. London Gold, voted best engagement ring and jewelry store. Visit London Gold to find out why. London Gold, it's the best. Vein envy. Vein disease is two times more common than heart disease. More than 30 million people go undiagnosed every year. Some symptoms are easy to recognize, like skin discoloration, leg swelling, or spider veins. I'm Dr. Ryan Jones at Vein Envy. We want you healthy without any discomfort. If you're experiencing itchy, numb, or heavy legs, it may be cause for concern. Not treating vein disease may lead to serious complications. Call, click, or come in for a free consultation. Covered by most medical insurances and Medicare. This holiday season, make the most of your road home. Hurry in to receive a credit of up to $4,500 on select models now through December 2nd. Can't wait for date night. Let's go.
start keeping it clean after date night. Only if we're talking about a car wash. It's on. Spencer's goes all out all weekend. The savings just don't get any better than right now. Save on this giant GE refrigerator with water and ice, only $9.99. And save up to $2,000 on GE Profile Appliance Packages. And get your appliances delivered and installed the very next day. Rush to Spencer's for these limited time only savings. Spencer's, it's like having a friend in the business. Join us for Today in AZ. No, really, join us. Don't just watch, be a part of the show. Text Team 12, vote in our polls, get online, just tell us about your day. We're here with you. Let's get our mornings off to the best start possible. Today in AZ, weekdays. I was really comfortable with Learning Row. They made me feel like I knew them for years, and they made me feel like they were close relatives. I would say call Learning Row. Learning Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. All right, welcome back to Today in AZ. We continue to track breaking weather news all across the region. You've probably been hearing the claps of thunder, the lightning, the rain all across Maricopa County, across the entire state of Arizona. We're going to go out live to Matt Uris, and he's just been tracking some crazy weather. Emma. That's right. He's at Central and Thunderbird right now, where there were some closures because of really high winds and now flooding in the area. Matt, you are out of the 12 News tracker. What are you seeing out there on the ground? <laughs> I am outside the track and we've got some significant damage as Mike mentioned here. We're at Thur Thunderbird Road heading east towards Central Avenue. The east side of the road is completely shut down as, the, as our pho uh, photographer pans to his right here. You'll see some of the trees down right behind me here. So again, heading east on Thunderbird Road is completely shut down. There's no getting through. In addition to this section that I'm referencing right now, if we had just a bit further east towards Central Avenue, You'll see uh, another tree down and all up and down this section, there, there's smaller branches. And if you look closely on the other side of Central Avenue, you'll see the flares the police have put out. Right beyond that, there looks to be a, another tree down as well. And you can see that the flares giving off smoke. We've also got some minor flooding coming through the area. So again, if you're heading east, there is no getting uh, through Central Avenue off Thunderbird Road right now. But I want to flag something else here. We also s almost saw a significant accident moments ago. West is opened up, and I got to say, frankly, I'm surprised. You've got some, uh, some notable flooding, but maybe more importantly, the far right lane is largely blocked off right now uh, by a tree or, or several large branches. And beyond that, you can see what looked like was a stump has been completely ripped down and scatters the road. We had a car roll through here, probably doing 40, 45 miles per hour. No way they saw it. Windshield went right through that debris. They pulled over about 100 yards down. They appeared to be okay and continued on their way. You can see most, okay, right here is what I'm talking about. This is where it gets dangerous. You see this car kind of pumped the brakes right ahead of that debris. Again, really surprised that the Thunderbird Road heading west past Central is not closed down. Now, we've been throughout the valley all morning long. We've seen consistent puddling, some debris along Camelback uh, heading east into Scottsdale, but nothing like we have here. And to provide some additional perspective, usually in the valley when we cover these events, and Emma and Mike, you've referenced this earlier, we see this type uh, of flooding and debris around I-17 in Greenway. Right. We're at Central now in Thunderbird Road, and uh, we typically don't see this. Emma, I know you've been in the market longer than I have, and have reported on these more than you can probably count. And I know you referenced the fact that you haven't seen anything like this. But uh, yeah, again, if you're heading down this way, stay safe. The rain's starting to come down harder again. It's hard to imagine the flooding lets off anytime soon. East heading down Thunderbird Road towards Central is closed. West is open right now. But if you're heading west, if you see this, if you know somebody on the road that takes this route, I hate to say this because they're driving, but I think it's worth it, text them. You got to let them know. Because this far right lane, the debris down, it's dark out here. It's tough to see with the rain. It really is presenting a, a dangerous situation. So we're going to stay here for the time being and continue to report on this. Um, and we'll get back to you guys in just a bit, either with live pictures or another live report, Mike and Emma. I am very surprised that the whole road isn't shut down. But I think that right. you said it right there, is that let's do it, take it upon ourselves to just 
it's Central and Thunderbird. Yeah. Stay away because I can't believe how much people are just rain driving is right through there. there. And it's that's the other thing, Matt, is what you said. It makes such a big difference when people really do think I got to slow down. Like I need to do my part here out on these roads. And we've been covering, you know, I've done traffic for years and years right. and years here. And the accidents happen because, not necessarily because of the weather, but it's because we won't slow down. So slow down, do your part, or just stay inside, yeah. for goodness yeah, sake. Yeah, use common sense is, yeah. is the main thing. Incredible coverage Thanks, for us, Matt. Matt. Thank Emily you, and yes. Mike, if you're... Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, I just want to flag this real quick as you say slow down. I think literally, ironically, what's saving a serious accident right now on Thunderbird Road heading west is right before you hit this significant damage, I'm going to ask our photographer to pan right and see that one more time. There's flooding, and people are seeing that flooding or hitting it, and that's causing them or prompting them to slow down. And that's what's saving them from rolling through this debris at you know a speed of around 40 miles per hour. So again, like you said, Emma, uh, up to us right now on 12 News to get the word out and our viewers as well. All right, Matt, thanks so much. Central and Thunderbird, try and avoid it if you can. All right, everyone, we're going to we were, we're gonna send you out to Flagstaff, but we're just having <laughs> this severe weather is going nuts, and we need to take a second. We're going to come right back after this quick break, give you the latest in Flagstaff, and also here in the Valley, if you are about to head out, when is the best time to try and avoid this huge mess that you're seeing out on the roads and in the skies? All right, we'll be right back. At Callbox, we believe self-storage should enter the 21st century. That's why we pick up, we store, and we bring it back when you want it. All at a comparable price. Call Box Storage. Never step foot in a storage unit again. Cobblestone Auto Spa. Leader in quality, service, and value. With 27 plus locations and counting, now is the time to go unlimited. Wheel cleaning, interior vacuum, air freshener, hand towel dry, and so much more. With eight different options, there's an unlimited plan for everyone. Save time, save money. Arizona weather can be tough on your car. Take care of it with us. Cobblestone Auto Spa. Go unlimited. All right, let's get going. You want to make sure to oh. I ordered it for everyone. I think I have the exact amount. We got the biggest Subaru to help bring our family together. Just resting my eyes. Even though we're generations apart. What a day. I just love those kids. The three-row Subaru Ascent. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Visit your local Phoenix Subaru retailer for a test drive today. Experience medieval times. A world of excitement, adventure, and wonder. Feast upon a delectable four-course meal. And behold authentic jousting and swordsmanship. It's the perfect place for celebration and revelry. New power, new show. The celebration begins at MedievalTimes.com. Now open in Scottsdale. Black Friday is here at American Furniture Warehouse. Stop in and find some of the best deals of the year on top of our everyday low prices. Hurry in and save big this Black Friday only at American Furniture Warehouse. Welcome to House of Diamonds. We make everything here. We're a full manufacturer and we allow our customer to be part of the manufacturing process. We have two of the finest bench jewelers in the country. We do everything from computer CAD design to 3D printing to casting to finishing, polishing, setting stones. So we create everything that a customer wants us to make. If you can think it, they can make it. Please come on into the House of Diamonds and let's start making your dream piece come true. For Black Friday savings on over a thousand vehicles, hurry to Henry Brown Buick GMC in Gilbert. Save up to 20% off MSRP or get 0% for 72 months plus $1,500 bonus cash on new Buicks. It's always Henry Brown. At Callbox, we believe self storage should enter the 21st century. That's why we pick up, we store, and we bring it back when you want it. All at a comparable price. Callbox Storage. Never step foot in a storage unit again. What a morning. Right now on Today in AZ, heavy rain battering the valley. The storm system that is causing major concern out on the road. And high winds toppling trees. We are keeping you safe in our 12 News Storm Tracker with the latest conditions in the area.
The high country bracing for even more snow. You're not going to believe the live pictures that we have for you up in Flagstaff. Good morning, everyone. Whoa, what a Friday. I hope that you have the day off. I'm Emma Jade in for Rachel McNeil. And I'm Mike Gonzalez in for Paul Gerke. I thought it was going to be an easy Friday yeah. morning, but hey, it's good to be with you guys. Our big morning, this, our big story this morning, obviously, is all the weather. If you plan to get out early for Black Friday shopping, you got to grab an umbrella and hold on. The high winds, a major concern. There was even tornado warnings all morning the first one up in North Scottsdale yeah and then it continued all right everyone we're sending it over to Crystal Henderson right now who has the latest up to speed information for you Crystal I don't know how you're keeping it together sister because <laughs> this storm is one of the worst that we've seen in years it's insane and we have new bursts of rain exploding on the radar in the valley Avondale I'm talking to you you're caught in the crosshairs right now Peoria and it's making its way towards Phoenix probably wondering amongst all the splattered mess on the radar what all these boxes are that's flash flooding we have flash flood warnings galore flood advisories in the green basically the entire valley under the gun for that flash flooding threat also noticing touching off lightning strikes in the east valley a severe thunderstorm warning has your name on it Eloy and Kearney that warning is because of winds getting pumped out of those storms up to 60 miles an hour. Even some hail has been flung out of some of these stronger storms. And right now we got a feisty batch right over Gilbert too. this blustery storm putting out some strong winds as well as rain and also uh, some bursts there around Fountain Hills. We zoom out and the higher elevations getting pasted with snow, but we're not talking the tippy tops of the mountains. Snow levels guys crashing down to 4,000 feet, but we've even had reports of flakes swirling down to 2,500 feet this morning. Wow. And here in the valley, it's not looking very good out on those roadways. We're heading back out live to Matt Uris, who was tracking the roads for you. He found such a bad spot. The guy is out of his car now. He's at Central and Thunderbird, where there are <laughs> some closures in one direction, not the other direction. Matt, what are you seeing out there? Yeah, we're in the thick of it now, Emma. We've got a lot of debris, some significant storm damage. I just want to give our viewers a clear idea of exactly where we are and what's going on. I'm on Thunderbird Road, headed east towards Central Avenue. The east side of Thunderbird is closed down again because of significant storm damage. As a photographer pans to his right, my left, you'll see the trees that are down here. On the other side of that, you've got officers completely blocking that road. You can see the cars making U-turns there. And as we pan back east towards Central Avenue, you've got another tree down, officers on the other side of that road. You can see the flares at, uh, out, and I also believe right beyond the light, it looks like we have another tree down there as well. And we've got some minor flooding coming through the intersection. Now, I want to flag this for our viewers, and this may be the most important thing I say because it surprises me that westbound on Thunderbird Road at Central Avenue is open. We've got a large string of cars coming through right now. So you're going to get a great example of what's going on. But as they come through here right now, you'll see they'll hit the flooding. And they typically slow down just a bit, even though that guy rolled through pretty quickly. But on the far right side of the road, you got a tree that uh, is blocking that lane. And there's been at least one car that rolled through, had no idea that it was there, hit his windshield up really well. On the other side of that tree, there's also what appears to be uh, shredded parts of a tree that are pretty thick as our photographer walks up the right side here of Thunderbird with me. That car rolled through all that, stopped about 50 yards down. You heard a, a pretty big thud. Uh, he or she continued to go on his way, so I assume they're okay. I'm not sure about their car, though, as you get a good idea of the damage that we're dealing out here. I also want to flag this. Emma, you've been talking about this all morning long. Typically in this area, the type of flooding that we're seeing here and much worse, frankly, happens at I-17 and Greenway. We were there about five minutes before we came here to check on a potential road closure, which we've since confirmed, obviously, and there was no flooding there. So Mother Nature kind of playing a trick on us for those who do this for a living in the business well, where the, the storm is happening. And another thing I always find interesting in, in this type of coverage, we've been all, all about the valley seen heavy rain, see some puddling that our viewers should be on the lookout for if they're heading out for, for some Black Friday shopping. But right here along this stretch, for whatever reason, those straight line winds built up at the exact right momentum in the right direction, and we're able to, to, to do a, a number on this street here again at Thunderbird Road and Central Avenue, a number of trees down. We've got minor flooding. The rain continues to come down. Uh, it's hard to believe any of this gets cleared up anytime soon. The 
the silver lining here, if there's anything, is that we're, uh, we're Black Friday. We're on a holiday weekend, so the streets aren't quite as busy as they usually are. But again, as you can see, these cars pass me heading west on Thunderbird Road. They're out and about. Looks like we just lost his microphone. Yeah. Darn it. Must be because of all that rain that's coming down. Yeah. Something to note here, too, is that ADOT, the way that they uh, design their roads, the center lanes are going to be your driest. So if you do have to head out, you want to try and stick to those center lanes and stay away from the puddling yeah. that's going to be on the sides. All right. Well, you see her out there. That's Erica Stapleton, who's up in Flagstaff. And they're expecting a lot of snow. Uh, you've been building a snowman and keeping a good attitude. Uh, we've seen a lot of plows out there. How's it looking right now? Well, as you can see, we're getting one coming through right now. Um, that's one of many we've seen out here this morning. And let me tell you, here in downtown Flagstaff, it's starting to look very messy. Take a look. This is one of the roads the plows have already been on. You can see the roadway pretty clear. People are driving steadily along, as you should be if you're out on the road, slow and steady. But you can see right on the ground here that there is some pile up. That's what happens when the plows come through. So you have to deal with this on the sides of the roads and in those smaller roads. And you can see it's just super busy out here right now. It's not just the roadways. We have people out here clearing out the sidewalks, clearing out parking lots, so maybe even having a little fun there. It looks like they're trying to have a good time, too. You know, anyone out here working or trying to make the best of the snow. But um, that being said, on a more serious note, it can be really dangerous. There's a lot of roads that we've found, or the ADOT has says, um, have been closed, like 179 coming up to Flagstaff closed. There's a few others in the northern part of the state also. And something to keep in mind, we actually went up to Snowbowl yesterday. So before all this snow started coming down and people were stopping us at the door, telling us that we needed to have either all-wheel all -wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or chains on our tires if we wanted to go up the mountain. So that's just a precaution that's necessary in weather like this. So I think you're looking at right now, you can see plow still going up the road. This again is downtown Flagstaff. We've seen many coming through today. The city of Flagstaff has 19 of those big ones that are out and about in full force. And then ADOT also has some other plows that are doing the interstates like I-17 and I-40 up here in Flagstaff. Again, travel is going to be really tough today or at least throughout the morning. So let the plows do their thing. You know, we have some cars coming by slowly. This is one of the roads that has been cleared off, but you can see these sides, some of these side streets. If you just look kind of over this one right past where this car went, we were actually walking up in there earlier, but you can see that's a road. There's a sign that says keep right, but you can't really tell. It seems that there's probably a median of some sort. So just so you know, the snow is covering a lot of stuff that you might not be able to see if you are out and about on the roads or even if you're out and about on foot. We've seen a few people out here walking. We're in an area where there are a lot of hotels. We've seen some people with snowboards, so a lot of people preparing to come outside. I will say if you do want to get out in the snow, it's that packy kind of powder. I'll bring it up for you. I've been showing you all throughout the newscast. It's that packy powder, so great for snow. Snowballs, great for snowmen. I was working on one over on the park over there. And also going to be great for skiing and snowboarding. But again, if you are trying to travel up to the mountains to do some of that stuff, make sure you are safe and you can get there clearly. Again, you're probably not going to be able to get into Snowball. Again, we went up there earlier unless you have chains on your tires or if you have all-wheel drive. So that's just good advice for anyone who does have to get out today. I will say we did hit some of the stores yesterday, too, that we were wondering maybe are people trying to camp out for Black Black Friday, we stopped by the Best Buy, and then we also saw a Target, and a lot of the stores were opening last night, so people were able to get in before a lot of this snow started coming down. So this morning is really the most treacherous part of the travel, um, of the traveling part of the day. And again, you can still see people out and about, but our best advice is to just stay inside, watch us on here, <laughs> get your snow fix from the TV, and then maybe come outside after it's settled down and all this mess is cleared away. But for right now, I want to send it back to you guys. All right, stay warm out there. Erica Stapleton, thanks so much for your hard work out there. You know, she mentioned the road closures. I've been monitoring ADOT really closely. They just tweeted this out a minute ago. An update on SR 260s closed from Payson to Sholo. Multiple highways in northern Arizona closed because of the strong winter storm. And that includes I-40 northbound at I-17. So, like she was saying, be careful if you're headed up uh, to the high country. Now, we know that you can't just, it's not realistic to say stay inside all no. morning long. <laughs> so we're going to send it over to Crystal. Crystal, when is the best time, you think, for people to head out if they have to today? Can you do a half day? Maybe head in after lunchtime. That's what I would recommend because right now showers and thunderstorms are in progress in the valley and they come with these threats. Flash flooding are top 
concern. Plus those strong damaging winds, you throw in the threat for lightning and we are also still running the risk for an isolated tornado and maybe even some hail. Back to you. All right, thank you, Crystal. This has been a wild morning. We it lost sure power has. here in the studio. People had to wake yeah, up we even husbands lost. to get out of their own homes. <laughs> we even lost power here in our five o'clock. I swear, hour. I woke up. I went to bed in Arizona and I woke up what in Kansas or something. I think we're in Salt Lake City, maybe. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> it is, we've got more for you in just a couple of minutes, everyone. The winds have not died down. We're going to have the latest on when things will look a little bit better today, because if you have to travel, it's not looking so good this morning. More information coming at you in just a few minutes. The facts lead us every day. We give you the information that matters most so that you can make the best decisions for you and your family. The stories that impact all of us and the issues that are important for us to dig into. 12 News. It's a matter of facts. Champs Family Automotive in Goodyear and Surprise, keeping your vehicle safe. Family's important to us. Our skilled technicians take special care of every single car, truck and RV, diesel or gas. Our service advisors make you feel like part of the family too, prioritizing what you need done, not overselling. Right now, we're expanding our family. If you believe in integrity, trust and fair pricing, give me a call to schedule an interview. Champs Family Automotive in Goodyear and Surprise, keeping your vehicle safe. <coughs> Paul Grubbs. The holidays can feel like the dumps. Doesn't all this good cheer? He asked. Just hurt your ears. But from time to time, <laughs> something changes their mind. I feel sad. She said. You can feel cheer instead. You might be right. So he got the card in a tree and his cheer grew by three. <laughs> Get your Mountain America rewards card today for three times the cheer this holiday. Our Ford Black Friday event is on at Earnhardt Ford in Chandler. Shop now and get 9780 in Ford cash back on a 2019 Ford Expedition or get 0% financing for 72 months plus over seven grand in factory incentives and even save 12,000 off MSRP on 2019 F-150 XLTs. Visit online at EarnhardtFord.com or stop in at the I-10 and Ray Road. Stop in and see us at Earnhardt Ford and that ain't no bull. Vein envy. Vein disease is two times more common than heart disease. More than 30 million people go undiagnosed every year. Some symptoms are easy to recognize, like skin discoloration, leg swelling, or spider veins. I'm Dr. Ryan Jones at Vein Envy. We want you healthy without any discomfort. If you're experiencing itchy, numb, or heavy legs, it may be cause for concern. Not treating vein disease may lead to serious complications. Call, click, or come in for a free consultation. Covered by most medical insurances and Medicare. Welcome to Odyssey Aquarium, where desert meets ocean. Visit the aquarium voted best indoor attraction and step aboard Odyssey Voyager, the only rotating aquarium exhibit in the world. Your oceanic adventure awaits. Dive into fun during Mermaid Magic at Odyssey Aquarium. Meet mermaids, watch them swim with sharks, turtles, and rays, and transform into a mermaid with free face painting and hair designs. Mermaid Magic, four days only, Thanksgiving weekend at Odyssey Aquarium. Tomorrow, it's today's biggest Thanksgiving event ever. 52 chefs live on the plaza to share a taste of America. Plus, their tips and tricks for your holiday meal. The United Plates of Thanksgiving, tomorrow on Today. Welcome back to Today in AZ. Mike Gonzalez alongside Emma Jade. And we've been tracking this breaking weather news all morning long. And we've had just about everything. Tornado warnings, flash floods, major rains, snow up in the high country. If you can... Call out sick. Yes, this is or the day call to in it. late. My goodness, yeah. I hope that you do not have to be driving into work. Matt Uris has been monitoring our roadways since about 4 a.m. He finally stopped at Thunderbird and Central because the flooding and the winds and the damage that it caused yeah. are so bad. That's where we find him out live right now. Matt, what's the latest? Yeah, Emma, we got the Thunderbird Road here in Central Avenue is where I am and heading east on Thunderbird is completely shut off as you approach Central. We got a lot of damage out here. It's the most significant damage we've seen throughout the valley is our photographer pants to his right. You see the uh, trees that are down blocking the road beyond that. You can see the cars uh, being reverted, making a, a U turn there at uh, officers direction. We've been out here now for about 45 minutes or so. There's no sign of these uh, trees getting cleaned up or removed, so I expect this road to be blocked off for some time to come. 
before we, we, we close this report, I want to flag this for our viewers, and this is really important. Westbound on Thunderbird is open for now. There is some minor flooding on this road, and maybe more importantly, importantly immediately to my left and to our photographer's right, you'll see uh, a tree that is down. We saw a car completely roll through that earlier, bang up his windshield and the undercarriage uh, of his car going over some tree stumps on the other side. So if you're heading west, be safe. If you're heading east, you're just not going to be able to get through right now. For now, we're going to go ahead and get this back to Mike and Emma as we continue to monitor this situation out in the field. All right, Matt, thanks so much. And this just in from ADOT, a crash blocking the HOV lane before Warner up on the southbound 101. So be aware of that. All right, Crystal, what's the latest? Well, we're about to rip up a rainfall record. Today's rainfall record set in 1922. Yes, nearly a century old record is 0.72. We're at 0.58 plus sign. We've got a burst of some heavy rain over the area, area that's going to continue to add to that total. Rain gauges filling up big time in Cave Creek. Over an inch there, approaching an inch in Sun City and Gilbert. I mean, add a plus sign to all of these numbers. 0.67 in Glendale Apache Junction, also around two thirds of an inch. Look at the showers and thunderstorms that we are touching off across the valley right now. We are getting clobbered in Avondale and Peoria with some heavy stuff right now. Gilbert. Also ringing out a lot of raindrops, even some stinging rain down towards Kearney and Florence, Eloy, where a severe thunderstorm warning is posted in the area. We've also been seeing lightning strikes light up the area radar. Plenty of rain leading to some flash flooding, even some small hail plopping out of those clouds. And the snowflakes are flying big time and they are adding up. They are overspreading the higher terrain as snow levels come crashing down to roughly 4,000 feet with some isolated areas even lower. There was a tornado warning that just expired over Marana, so just wanted to let you know about that. So our atmosphere has some spunk. So have your ears perked for the strong wind, the rain in the AM hours, and it looks like we'll start to see the clouds basically give way to some sunshine even mm. in the PM hours, but right now be on high alert. Okay, everyone, we're going to have much more take you out live to some of the worst hit spots that's coming up in just a couple of minutes. 12 News Traffic to Go is driven by Learner and Row. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. It's the Today in AC crew here. You've got a place right here with us. Wake up, have a cup of coffee. Interact with us and get your day off to a great start. Or catch the speed feed as you're rushing out the door in the morning. Join us for Today in AZ weekdays when you get up. The facts lead us every day. We give you the information that matters most so that you can make the best decisions for you and your family. The stories that impact all of us and the issues that are important for us to dig into. 12 News. It's a matter of facts. This Black Friday, Steinmart's already low prices are even lower. Plus, get $15 off 40 until 1 p.m. Grab hundreds of deals like Frozen 2 for Kids, boots and jackets starting at $39.98, and active wear and sweaters starting at $14.98. Hurry in. For Black Friday savings on over 1,000 vehicles, hurry to Henry Brown Buick GMC in Gilbert. Save up to $15,000 or get 0% for 72 months plus $2,500 bonus cash on new Sierras. It's always Henry Brown. Diamonds, the timeless gift. You know the jewelry exchange's prices are unbeatable. But now through Thanksgiving weekend, save 20% on all our fine jewelry and an additional 10% on loose diamonds, our lowest prices ever. By Factory Direct and Save, the Jewelry Exchange Phoenix. Desert Autoplex RV, a better way to do business. Our biggest savings of the year are happening right now. Fall in Arizona is the best time to check out our end of the season boat sale. Like this 2019 Monterey 224 FS for just $49,000. Or this 2019 Monterey 218 SS, just $57,000. Or this 2019 Monterey 238 SS, right now just $88,000. The biggest savings and the best selection. Call 480-964-2277 or visit DesertAutoplex.com. Family owned and operated Desert Autoplex RV, a better way to do business. Who's that? Oh, that's Koss, our new tenant. Since when are we renting out rooms? Since you said you needed your car's transmission replaced. It's expensive. I'm going to Amco, most trusted name in the business. And it comes with a three-year, 50,000-mile nationwide warranty. So, it should go. Check engine light on. We'll check it for free. Amco. Double A. MCO. Transmissions and a whole lot more. Since 1951, Earnhardt Auto Centers has been Arizona's family-run car center. As a matter of fact, 
Many of our customers aren't the first in their family to shop with us. Generations of Arizona families have trusted Earnhardt to help them find the perfect car. Find our entire inventory of vehicles at Noble.com and see what generations of happy customers already know. Earnhardt Auto Centers is where Arizona buys cars. And that ain't no bull. This Black Friday, Steinmart's already low prices are even lower. Plus, get $15 off 40 until 1 p.m. Grab hundreds of deals like Frozen 2 for Kids, boots and jackets starting at $39.98, and active wear and sweaters starting at $14.98. Hurry in. The Weather Report on Today in AZ is sponsored by Superstar Car Wash. We do unlimited right. Text NBC to 27800 to get a free wash. I'm Matt Yuris here on Thunderbird Road looking east towards Central Avenue. This entire eastbound lane on Thunderbird Road is closed down because of significant storm damage. You can see the trees down throughout the eastbound lane here to my left as well. Beyond that, officers are making cars take a U-turn and head in the west direction. I do want to flag this for our viewers, and this is important. If you're heading west, that road is open, but there is debris. Right when you pass Central Avenue, you'll see a tree down. An officer has just recently pulled up after a near accident and collision with that tree and another vehicle. That person appeared to be okay and went about their way. Again, stay tuned for later on our Facebook Live coverage uh, for further reports on this scene out here. Right now, I'm Matt Yuris for 12 News. I'm Team 12's Erica Stapleton live in Flagstaff where you can see plows are in full force clearing all this snow that we have here. It's a packy kind of snow. You can see good for a snowman, but also not the best for driving. So be careful if you have to get out on the roadways. We've seen plows out too, but it's going to be a slippery day for at least as the snow continues to fall in throughout the day. So let the plows do their work. Stay inside if you can, and we'll bring you more from Flagstaff throughout the day. For now, reporting live, I'm Erica Stapleton for 12 News. As you can see there, yeah, the snow is coming down in earnest from the Grand Canyon to Flagstaff to Prescott Basin in Heber. And then we have some robust super soakers here in the valley right now. Avondale, Peoria, Gilbert all getting in on some of that heavier rain and those whipping winds. You know what, Crystal? Sometimes I call you a weather nerd, but boy, <laughs> on days like today, it sure pays Very off helpful. because we are going to have you covered the entire morning. You can bet we're going to be doing weather cut ins all throughout the Today Show and also on Facebook. So be sure to stay dialed in right here on 12 News and download that free 12 News app. All right. Have a great morning, everybody, and stay safe. Thanks for watching 12 News. It's a matter of facts. Emmy and AP award winner for best morning newscast and your official home of the Arizona Cardinals. Unwrap huge savings with Accords on clearance for just $249 a month during Happy Honda Days. Save on new Accords, only $249 a month. Accord, Edmund's most wanted vehicle and a car and driver 10 best, a record 33 times. It's our most impressive Honda ever for less than the competition. Accords for $249 a month. Don't miss Happy Honda Days this week at your Valley Honda dealers.